Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We are playing more of the Honest Hearts DLC. Uh, last we left off in the DLC, I got to Zion Camp. Well, first I joined a caravan. There was another person who had a pit boy there and he was a big old jerk, so I told him not to come. And then as soon as we got here, everyone died. Except me, because I have plot armor. Hooray! We met Follows Chalk. We met... I forget his name. I'm so sorry. It's been a week since I've streamed this. We met the guy in the bandages, the burn man. And we have some quests to do here. I'm gonna... I'm supposed to, like, go somewhere else. But I'm gonna quickly find some big horners for Follows Chalk. Because I want to help him out. He's my buddy. He's my pal. He's my rotten soldier. So I don't quite know how to get back up. But surely I can go this way, right? Clara's plot armor, or did she do a little murder? <laughs> Look, they shot first, so I'm not, I'm not taking nothing. What is this? Is this just wall art? I think it's wall art. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was like a thing to be mined. This is definitely a dead end. Okay, well. Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not very kind. Oh, this is the way up. There we go. I found it because I'm so smart. Uh. Yeah, I think this is probably the way. I qu I don't quite remember this quest was find a way up the cliffs. There there was something about like big corners getting scared by something and we need to like take care of them. So I don't quite remember, but I do want to help follows chalk. So we're going to go up and around. <laughs> it's not murder if their dot is right on my screen. <laughs> don't kill any of the mountain big corners. That's right. That's right. Uh, should have done this quest before leaving because I don't. I should have rewatched the stream just so I could remember what he had asked me to do. I don't remember. They're all the way up there? I'm sure if I just follow this path, I'll get to where I need to go. Find a way up a cliff time to perform a Skyrim! <laughs> I want to put my weapon away. There we go. Sorry, sometimes it like takes me a minute to remember the controls because I haven't played this in s seven days. Um, also, off stream, I've been playing Fantasy Life again and the control scheme on that is a Nintendo game, so it's all wrong. I want to quick save. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you, Nondalos. He wants you to lure a baby big horner down with a banana yuka, which I do have because someone pointed out that I was standing right in front of one. Thank you. Angry big horner lost Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Seriously, I'm so glad to have played this game while streaming because if I was just doing this off stream, I would have killed a lot of important people by accident and gotten much more lost. Also, quick sidebar. This environment design is very fun. I really love that they're making use of the verticality of a canyon setting. I think choosing a canyon was a really good idea, considering... Uh, what's the word? Considering that, like, New Vegas is so flat, I think it was fun to be like, all right, let's do something that's got, you know, a lot more happening. Here's the part I'm not confident in. How do I... Lure the bobby. Do I just drop the banana, Yuka? Let's see if I can just sneak. Will you get mad at me if I just walk by? I think you're mad. I think you're mad. I think you're mad. Okay, you're mad. So how do I get to your bobby? Can I Skyrim horse this? Eh. Sky horse! Nay! No, I can't. Okay. Um really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. 
Is there a note? No, this was a, a quest that Follows Chalk had given me directly. I have to find the calf without... I don't want to kill any of the big horners because that's bad for a lot of reasons. Is there an alternate path? I don't think there's an alternate path. How do game want me to do this? Is this a way? Nope. Local pupper gets lost, proceeds to fist fight a plot relevant chicken. <laughs> you kill you kill Mr. House one time and everyone gets mad. It's too bad you can't throw berries like in Pokemon Legends. Man, I was actually wondering if I could like drop a banana yuka to lure someone out, like one of the, the, the big boys away. I don't know. Will that work? Cause I was like literally just wondering that. Um have two of them. Let's see. What happens if I drop one? Will you know that I'm your friend if I drop it? Hey, uh... Do you smell it? No, I don't think that's programmed in. I don't think that works. If I just... I'm going away. I'm going away. I'm not here to bother you. Okay, cool. All right. Maybe I just have to, like, run past them and be like, I'm not here to give you any problems. I think this might actually work. May maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Because uh, I have to, like, keep going around this mountain path, I think, and then I will find the Babo. Oh, something in miscellaneous, maybe? Let's see. No, nothing in miscellaneous. Oh, that's a big boy. Excuse me, big boy. I'm not here for you. Excuse me. Goodbye. Wowie zowie. Is this the Babo? I think this is a Babo. Oh, wait. No, this might be the Babo. Sorry, I keep using the wrong buttons. Um. No, this is not the Babo. I was right the first time. Oh, who's mad? Who's mad? Oh, he's mad. I didn't realize you were there, sir. Uh, this doesn't feel like a path. I don't think this is a path. Uh, eh? So where do I go from here? Around this way? There we go. No? Oh, wait. No, that's the way I came. Hold on. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. Oh wait, there's another crossing. I can go back this way. Hold on. I think I can cross over this way. It looks like there's like a four-way cross. I've never done this quest. Yeah, I I think this is the way. This this seems right. And then the babo is through there. So we're just gonna keep going. Was that calf not the calf? Yeah, I don't think so, because it wasn't the map marker. Is that a banana yucca? How nice of the game to leave one here in case you realized you forgot it. <laughs> that was that was very kind of the developers to just sort of drop it. I'm gonna save again. I know I save a bunch, but that's because the game also crashes a bunch, and I don't want to have to come back here. <laughs> Hello, little Babo. Here is a fruit. Yum, yum, yum. Will you follow me? Oh, it's like a follow quest? Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. I bet I'm gonna have to protect it from something at some point. Something's gonna try and eat it, and I'm gonna have to fight it off. Oh, you're so cute. It's a little baby. I have fully lost follows chalk. I hope he didn't, like, fall off a cliff and die or something, because that would be bad. <laughs> what? Crashes in Fallout game? Never. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do the crossing and then do another crossing. Follows Chalk is fully not here. I'm gonna see if I can fast travel somewhere and hopefully that fixes it. Lemonati, hello. Thank you for the follow. I think I have to go down this way. Yeah, cool. We're on the right path. Little Babo. You coming? 
Where'd it go? Uh... Little Babo, what you doing? Hey, am I have to keep feeding it fruit, sir? Stop being a tubby little tubber. Come on. Oh, are you stuck? Ugh. Can you walk this way? Walk this way. There we go. All right, all right. We fig we fixed it. Sometimes you just gotta sing to a cow, question mark? I think it's bovine, right? Flora lost the bubble, we're all doomed. I think I have fixed it. A ram. Are bighorners more, yeah, I guess they are actually more goats than they are cows, aren't they? That would make more sense. Who's mad, who's mad, who's mad? Hey, you, stop that. Hey, come on. Stop eating the ground. I'm feeding you bananas. Stop eating the dirt. I'm giving you tasty, tasty nanas. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. This way? Yeah, your mama is right here. I'm really lucky I had enough bananas to do this. If, th if this thing stops following me when its mom is right here, I'm going to lose my mind. Keep it? No, return it. I don't- what am I gonna do with it? Bye. Hey, I just- I just saved your child. A thank you is in order, ma'am. Oh. Hey, I found him. You- how, how you doing, bud? You- Are you- are you pretending to be a mole? You just- you one with the dirt? I've been there. You know, sometimes you just want to dig a hole in the ground and pretend to be a carrot. I feel you. I get it. That's fine. Um, unfortunately, you're not a carrot, and I do kind of need you to function, so let's go back to the camp. Where are you? Hey, there you go. You're not a carrot anymore. I love that. Oh, I also finished your quest. What can I tell you? I returned the calf to its mother, and I didn't kill any of the big horners. It's funny that he doesn't technically have a way of knowing this. I could be lying. <laughs> Ooh, glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. Oh, uh, any idea where to start looking for these pre-war supplies Daniel needs? Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. The human carrot likes to swim in the dirt. <laughs> uh, what taboo places? Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Oh, ghosts? Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? I wonder if there's ghouls. Uh, where should we start looking? Lots of back when places to choose from, but for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest, and the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell. Just west of the eastern virgin. So you say there's possible loot in handprint places, eh? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. What's this place where the little ones fell? In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. Lots of that old stuff, uh, how do you say it, uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. I wonder if one of the scouts was a plane. Tell me more about Joshua Graham. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. Comfy, hello! How was Celeste today? Thank you very much for the raid, y'all. Make sure you're following Comfy Catboy. He's such a delight. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, you caught me mid-snacking on donut. <laughs> Celeste was a horde. I... 
I have, quite, I have debated playing Celeste on the easy mode. They have a mode where you just play it for the story, essentially, and I'm like, kind of kind of feeling that, not gonna lie. It's hard. I've watched it. Don't know, did you bring it up to share? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> We're currently, for everyone joining us, we're currently playing through the Honest Hearts DLC of Fallout New Vegas. So far, I think for Honest Hearts, I really like the map terrain design. I think it's it's a very different um, environment compared to New Vegas, which is really refreshing. I'm not sure how to feel about the whole tribe situation, if I'm being honest. I'm not saying it's bad. Um... But it is worth examining the fact that this white man, Joshua Graham, was like, I'm the leader of your tribe now. I don't I don't quite know how to feel about it. This is not a criticism necessarily. I just, I truly don't know how to feel about it. Um, the whole tribe thing is just, I, mm, it's interesting. I don't know, I don't, I, I wish I had like a, it's a little tone deaf. Yeah, I guess. Like, I'm having trouble finding the words to place exactly how I feel about it. I am not indigenous, so, like, I don't feel that I have a place to necessarily say these things, if that makes sense. Um, like, I don't want to speak for other communities. Um, I think if this game was going to get a remaster, I would hope that they get some cultural consultants to sort of re-examine how to write this. Because um, I think... Like, I do think it's compelling to ask, like, what happened to reservations when the bombs dropped? I, genu I genuinely think that'd be a really interesting question to explore. Um, I'm not sure if this is quite it. <gasps> Watch Fox Machina! Have fun! Spend time with your friends! That's totally valid! Enjoy it! It sounds, like, generally uncomfy. Yeah, I'm with Evil Bob. There's just some kind of, like, hmm themes. Um, I think... Yeah, I think definitely some parts of this maybe haven't aged super well. Um, so that's, that's that's making me sort of like, how, how do I phrase it? I want to enjoy this more, but I have to examine the media I'm consuming, right? Like I feel a responsibility to do that. Um, but the fact that they considered reservations at all, I think it's like, it's sad to be like, well, it's nice that they considered them, <laughs> you know? Uh, maybe a bit of a swing and a miss, I guess. But, um, I haven't finished the DLC. I will also make this clear. I haven't finished it yet, so this is not, like, a complete criticism, because I haven't seen the whole thing. Um, yeah, Gunsling! It was a choice. Joshua is the white savior using the tribes as a redemption arc. It, yeah! Like, that's not to say he doesn't care for them, but I really wish he was more of just an ally than, like, their de facto leader. It, that's the part that I think has been rubbing me the wrong way. Because I was thinking about this when I finished stream last time. So. I'm going to have to. Like I said though. Like I'm still playing it. But so far I'm sort of like. Trying to sort of sense. Is it, I suss out my own feelings on it. Uh, The only reason where I know of is when Caesar's Legion attacked Hoover Dam. Because they attacked it once. Right? There was already a war for Hoover Dam. And Caesar's Legion lost the first time. Right? I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? Ooh, see, the word civilized. Also, maybe not the best choice in retrospect. Comfy, please, go do post-stream stuff. I hope that run is, like, super easy-peasy. Costco always makes me scared. It's so big. I always get lost. <laughs> Thank you again for bringing your community here, Comfy. I appreciate it. Just the one battle. Cool. That's what I thought. I think every community in Fallout was, quote, a tribe, not necessarily native. The chairman, that's true. That's right. That, like, this game is interesting because it um, uses the word tribe to really just describe different groups. Um, which, again, for a game written in the late 2000s, early 2010s, I could understand why they might use that language. For a modern player, it is a little confusing because they said tribes and I was like, "How? what? <laughs> As an anthropologist, I hate the word civilized. Yeah, we got to remember word civilized, not the best word choice because it's all a matter of perspective and is often used in not very nice ways. So again, obviously, I'm also a modern player playing this for the first time. Um, to a degree, this game is a product of its time. 
Oh, thank you for the head pads. The rose tinting classes are coming up. Yeah. So far, there's been a few quests that I've been like, ooh, I don't, I don't personally, this feels a little wrong. This feels a little gross, you know? Um, I'm still wondering how these people have been made, went backwards this far. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. It's like, people on reservations know what electronics are. You know, like, I guess, I guess what's important to remember is if people didn't, so any, my understanding of Fallout lore is that anyone who was not in a Fallout shelter was exposed to radiation. There are and plenty of hmm moments and it's good to view critically. Take it as it comes, you're doing fab. Thank you, Evil Bob. I appreciate that. I just don't want people to think I'm like trying to hate on a game for the sake of hating on a game. Um... I'm just trying to sort of examine my own feelings about this DLC. Cryptid, hello! Sharky, no worries! Um, I was saying... Thought. Come back to me. Saying... Right, so, uh, anyone who wasn't in a fallout shelter became a ghoul, right? So, anyone who's, like, currently a non-ghoul is either from a shelter or descendant from someone who was in a shelter. But my understanding is all the shelters were, they had education unless like a specific shelter didn't for whatever weird experiment reasons, right? So I do agree. It is kind of funky that they'd be like, what are electronics? I also thought it was weird earlier. He was like, oh yeah, something that's called a fisherman's lodge. And it's like, you've got to have the word for fisherman. You have to have a word for fisherman. That, like, I could understand if a word like, um, I don't know, like, a comms array might be a little lost in translation, but a fisherman's lodge? You're not, you're gonna tell me people don't have those words still? There were groups that survived outside the vault, not everyone turned into a ghoul. Oh, I just assumed everyone did. That's a good distinction to note. Okay. Oh, because they were in an area where the bombs didn't drop. That makes sense. Not all survivors became ghouls, just the survivors of massive radiation. <laughs> Hashtag not all ghouls. That helps me understand a lot, actually. Small, have you ever seen Hoover Dam? Okay, I. why would my character think that this person has ever been to the Hoover Dam? <laughs> <laughs> really? That's... my gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. Oof. You'd be surprised what, quote, civilized tribes will fight over. Yeah. <laughs> now you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better, that I should stay here and forget the outside world. You know, people say that. Except then there's also, like, penicillin and plumbing. Like, here's the thing. Germ theory is kind of useful. It changed human history. I don't buy the whole, like, oh, you don't need the outside world. I'm not saying the outside world is good, but, you know, there's definitely modern technologies and amenities that help everyone. <laughs> Italy made a dam in place similar to this one. It didn't last long. No, really? Oh, wait, hold on. No, I don't. Oh, I leveled up. I don't want you to wait here. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Um... Can I just level forever? Is that how this game works? Oh, god dang it. <sighs> Y'all, you want to just tell me a perk to grab? I know a bunch of these are... What's the word? A lot of these are broken. Jury rigging. Fix a trail carbine with a... Oh, that sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Single best perk in the game. Because the problem is like a lot of times like a perk will sound interesting and then everyone in chat will be like, no, that's super broken. You can't, you can't, you can't use it. Uh, cool. So I did that quest. Search the ruins of the crashed scout. Oh, it was a bus. Fishing lodge, tourist trap. Oh, that's so far. Let's do... The crashed scout bus will be easy because I already have that. 
discovered. So let's go here. Jury rigging is OP. I mean, it sounds OP. It sounds like I can just use anything to repair anything, which is extremely handy. <laughs> chat, do not pick that. It's borked and broken. Also, chat, that is the only option. Pick. Look, I... There's enemies. I like when people make decisions for me because I'm indecisive. What is out there? It might just be big horners. Oh, it's just it's just cows. I'm sorry, goats. <laughs> Tag is good too if you want to bring up another skill that's real low. Ooh, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I think I have to go down into the river, right? I hope Clara gets to meet my favorite character in this DLC. We'll find out to Ooh! Together, I guess. Nice! Who needs a noggin? Not you, my guy. Um, oh, I definitely have to go down this way, because otherwise I'm gonna die. It's dark. I can't see nothing. I'm gonna <laughs> wait until it's daylight. <laughs> daylight. I must wait for the sunrise. That's close enough. <laughs> wait, hold on. Still dark. Noggin privileges revoked. Oh, hey, it rains. That's nice. Oh, and it thunders. Maybe not so nice. That's a little spooky. I'm so glad this water isn't uh, full of radiation. Lunchbox, toy car, let's see. Oh, these bodies have been here for a minute. That's sad. This must be pre-war then. If I had to take a guess. Oh, this is a school bus? Of Boy Scouts. Is that this? I thought it was scouts as in, like, a scouting party from a government. But this is, like, children Boy Scouts. That is very sad. Um, what am I looking for here? A bus, a compass. Okay. If I were a compass, where would I hide? Um... Front seat? No. Um, oh. Compass sensor module. Got it. Right? Why isn't the quest updating? Isn't that it? Oh. There we go. Um. Repair the compass. Nice. I'm a genius. There we go. Oh, God. Why do I have to sneeze? You're walking on the skeletal remains of children. Look, it's not my fault the game isn't letting me move them, all right? <laughs> all right, let's go to the fishing lodge next. I can just follow this road there, I think. Let's go back up this way. Oh, I've stolen from deceased children. I mean, not to sound super heartless, but it's not like I can bring them back to life. <laughs> Yeah, nothing about this is celebrated, to be clear. I just can't do nothing about it. I can't get back up. All right, we're just gonna have to go this way. Game, you can't kill kids because that would be a miserable reflection of our society. Also, game, child skeletons. Very, very depressing to run across those, for sure. Whoa. <laughs> Bring back the zombie scout children. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. There we go. There's the bridge. Can't kill them if they're already dead, Taps Head. <laughs> Interesting. Those are some- Oh, God! What the hell? Oh, you scared the freaking pants off me, my dude. What the hell are you holding? Is that a flame sword? I think that is a flame sword. Oh, you have a dog- I'm sorry. We could have been friends. But you chose not to be. Fire axe? Shish kebab. Well, I'm going to take that because it sounds fancy. Hold on. They have the word for shish kebab and not fishing lodge? 
You gotta make your lore consistent, please. Oh, hey there, bud. I didn't see you there. Until I did. The Shish Kebab, it was a craftable weapon in Fallout 3. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that car's giving you some coverage, my dude. Come here. Hey. There you are. Oh, that was an axe to the forehead. How much lead can you take into one brain? Jeez. Alright, you have friends? Oh, I think you have friends. Oh no, just a blizzard? Are you fighting anything, blizzard? Or are you just there? Oh, gross. You're you're the one spitting that. Ow. Stop that. As the courier, she managed two bullets. That's true. Oh, can take a shish kebab to repair the other one. I mean, my melee stat is garbage. I thought it was a unique weapon. It looks like that's not the case. But that's fine. Um, we're just gonna save. Scared. I thought this was gonna crash on me. Old Rockville Bridge. Okie dokie. Where is. I think Follows Chalk decided to be a carrot again because I'm not seeing him. <laughs> God dang it. Buddy, where did you go, my guy? Ugh. That's fine. I'll make this on my own. Go this way. You don't need melee stats? Isn't that a melee weapon? You've got enough levels to max out melee. I. Oh, God. What the hell? Stop that. I said stop that. Oh, does your head hurt? Well, maybe you shouldn't have spat at me, my guy. I would have left you alone. But no, you had to go and spit on me. You're gross. Did not even drop anything? Zerog, hello! How you doing? You can buy the unique version and get henna at the Gunrunners. Oh! It's a melee weapon, you do need the stats. Oh, you don't have to apologize, you're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, cool, there's like a hiking trail here. It's a hiking trail here. Oh, hold on, I overshot it. That's why I got confused, it's this way. Yeah. Melee weapons can still be effective even without highly melee stat, especially unique ones, just not as effective as they could be if you're specifically specced for it. Okay. I see you, mister. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Again? That's a mole rat. Someone's spitting me from behind. You are. Oh, you're mad because I killed your baby? You'll get over it. I told you you'd get over it. Oh, 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 God. God, you're not nice at all. Snuffles is way nicer than you. God dang it. Ugh. What's the point of having a follower if he just keeps digging himself in the dirt and going for a swim? <laughs> God dang it. Ugh. Poor Rufus. At the very least, you could store a faming sword in your house as a conversation starter. Wouldn't that just be a massive fire hazard? That feels like a huge fire hazard. Like, that doesn't seem like a good idea in the slightest, right? Fire hazards are cool, yeah, until your house is burned down. And then it's not cool at all. But, um, shh. I don't think you're here to give me a hard time. 
Okay. <laughs> Just joined in massive fire hazard. What I miss? <laughs> um, I discovered the shish kebab weapon, and people were saying I should take one and put it in my house. And I was like, that's a fire hazard. A, a sword that just gets lit up in flames seems bad, maybe. It is forbidden. Because there is lizards. Hold on. Hello. Goodbye. How did you- I guess the door wasn't locked, but like, how did you get in here? Nice. To be fair, your character's the one calling it a shish kebab. Oh, is that the case? That's a good point. I just assumed like everyone called it that. Oh, beer. Is beer bad after 200 years? Does beer, is beer at all similar to like, it, I've actually never considered that. Can you drink beer if it's like super old? The ghost turned into geckos. <laughs> Oops. Walkie talkie, I'll take it. I feel like maybe that's useful. Who's here? Hmm? Oh, hey there. I mean, aged wine is good. Why not beer? All consumable foods have a shelf life. Well, I think honey is one of the few that doesn't. Like, technically, if it's stored properly, you can eat honey forever, right? Oh, cabinet key. I don't need it. I already, bro I already broke into it. Whoopsie doodle. I did that wrong. Honey will outlast us all. <laughs> Ooh. I was really hoping Follows Chalk would have spawned in here with me, so I'm gonna have to teleport somewhere else. Scrap electronics, fission battery. I'll take them. I might need them. Um, no bedroom? How do you have a hunting lodge with no bedroom? Where do you sleep? It, cause it, presumably it's a lot, like, oh, I guess this was like a social spot? Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, I think I did tell him to wait, didn't I? Barnacles, I forgot to tell him to follow me. Uh, he should be on my map, right? Yeah, he's still at the camp. I'm a little ding dong. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, cool. So let's go grab him. Jedi, hello! I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you? Whoop, nope. You're just... I See, I get scared because they keep running around and I think they're mad at me and they're not. Right. All right, I fixed it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I made a mistake. I literally have 13-year-old beers, but they're meant to be aged. Can, okay, so this is me just, like, not knowing how alcohol and spirits work that much. Can- are certain beers designed to be aged, or can technically any beard be aged? Is there, like, chemistry involved with that? Fighting time. Why? Who? Gotcha. Where? No, that's a friend. That's a friend. What do y'all see that I don't see? Hello? There was a red mark on my map. For a death. There we go. Follows Chalk doing his worst following game. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just really funny. Hold on, you're gonna die now. Dink. There we go. Call it. Have you done Lonesome Road yet? No, the only DLC I've done in full is the dead money. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I'll just keep grabbing this anti-venom. Rebar club, riot shotgun. Nah, I don't I don't really like using shotguns. Did you take the bloody mess perk? I don't think I did, no. He follows Chalk, not follows Clara. <laughs> of course he's gonna have trouble following you. Oh god. Lonesome Road is last. I've heard a lot of people really like old world blues, I think. But I am excited to see the other DLC. Like I said, from like um from like setting aside narrative choices from a game design perspective, I think this was a really smart choice. I think Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. You're not wrong, my guy. You're not wrong. Um, from like a pure game design perspective, I think it was smart to say, all right, let's do a DLC that's in a very different place from the Mojave. Um, and you have to admit, like, this environment is very beautiful. This game has, like, visually, this is aged well. Like, I think that sky looks really good. It's fun that it, oh, god dang. It's fun that it rains here because it doesn't rain anywhere else, you know? Um, uh, what's in the water? Oh, ants. Because of course there's ants. How many caps do you have? Like 30,000, I think? Something just, hold on, something? What on earth is, oh, is that a Cazador? Even here? No. No, I wanna, I can't aim at it. All right, well, let's just take this out. I don't wanna deal with that. You're so fast. Why do you new? I don't even have to fight it. I just want to. Ah, uh, it's fine. I don't need to fight any of those. I think I'm fine. Let me see. How many caps do I have? Uh, 34,000. Never enough. Ow! What the hell? God dang it. I'm a little woozy. I'm guessing it's because it bit me. Does this thing have armored wings? Why isn't this working? Is this why people have flaming swords? I mean... No offense, bud. You didn't really do too much. All right, let's do the Datura Anti-Venom. Cool, and then let's grab Stimpak. That thing's bigger than Chalk. Hold on, I wanna make sure I don't miss, sorry, the audio's gonna be funky for a second. Most beers are built to be fermented, bottled, and drank. You have to intend for the beer to be aged and go through certain steps to prepare it for aging. India Pale Ale was super loaded with hops so it could age on the ships from England to India. No way! I never knew that about Indian Pale Ale? Huh. That's cool. I learned something new today. Thank you for taking the time to write that. Sorry, I realized I was like, I don't want to miss this because I think that's interesting. <laughs> I don't really drink much at all ever, but I still think the, the chemistry behind it is pretty interesting, actually. It's much tougher than normal Casadors. God dang it. As if they aren't bad enough. They have to have a worse cousin. Are you joking me? All right, let's get back to it. Ah. <sighs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> what is that in the ground? It's... <laughs> I'm so confused. What's here? There you are. Thank. Oh, he kept it away from me. That would make sense. It must have been nice. When Zion was friendly enough, folks could make camp wherever they pleased. And not worry about white legs and deadly critter. I won't last long at this rate you'll be fine uh also to be clear if you're visiting a national park you absolutely still need to be careful like bears and cougars exist right like animals of prey like still absolutely live here you know they're just not like full of radiation do you have a giant spike taped to your arm? That's pretty metal, I'll be honest. That's pretty metal. 
Yeah, he definitely got um, poisoned. Let's do this. Ooh, but I'm also hurting, so I'm gonna just. I was a hundred stim packs. Dang. All right, I'll give some to my bud. Well then, I'll, I'll give you some stim packs. It's gonna take a second. And I'll give you some anti-venom. Cool. Now stop complaining, please. <laughs> One of my college theology professors was a Yellowstone Park Ranger. That's nifty. I've always wanted to go to Yellowstone. I think it'd be a really cool experience. What am I actually doing here again? Search the general store for little scout lunch boxes. Search the ranger station for medical supply kits. All right, I'm actually not supposed to be here then, am I? Boop, boop. Oh yeah, okay, cool. This is just a little pit stop. What the hell? Huh? Was that from the stim packs? Or the anti-venom? What the hell is happening? Um, is this the poison? Can I see if I have a poisoned condition anywhere? Dark deter poison. I already drank the anti-venom though. Wild. Oh, the white leg poisoned me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> thank you for the hydrate barrel. Hello. There is something up ahead. What the hell are you? This is what I'm looking for. What is that? I think that might be a friend. I don't want to murder you if you're a friend, because then I might make people mad at me. Yeah, I know. Gotcha. Oh, no. No, I'm wrong. You aren't a friend. Okay, that makes this easy. Pew, 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 pew. And heads will roll. Wowie, wowie. Boop, 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 boop. Is an ad break coming? Not for like six more minutes. Good thought you did greet follows chalk with bullets last time. <laughs> well, there we go. That's an ad break. Let's uh, take a pit stop in this burned down building. I'm surprised this is still standing, all things considered. Uh, cool. I'm going to take a quick break. It's actually so freaking hot in here because my PC generates so much heat. So I'm going to go turn on a fan. Jeez. All right, I will be back in, uh, like, two minutes. I'll be back very, very soon, I promise. Thank you for the stretches. I'll do that, too. I, um, just took a quick stretch break, horked down some more donut. It was very good. <laughs> oh, God. I'm knocking my stuff over. Hello. I really appreciate you bringing your community here. That was very, very kind of you. Well, flavor is just, uh, glazed. I personally really like when they're chocolate frosted, but I can't have chocolate, so. That was just a plant. Thought it was maybe something bad, but it's just a plant. That's the path I need, right? Yeah, that's the path I need. Howdy, Carl. Oh, God. Oh, not again. Uh, you came out of nowhere, my guy. Go fight something else. Oh, something's throwing something at me, too. That's great. We love that.
Don't stab me. That hurts. Oh, dang it. My HP is real low again. God dang. Ugh. He'll be fine. He'll get back up in no time, I'm sure. Whoa, wiggling that dump truck I see. Oh, god dang it. What the hell? I'm trying to examine my surroundings, sir. So disrespectful. Why do you have a submachine gun, my dude? How are you holding up, bud? Okay. Okay, I'm up. What's next? Pretty well, then. All right, that's good. We love to see that. Stim packs are a god tool, yeah, for sure. Utah's landscape is gorgeous, even in post apocalypse times. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't admire bug dump trucks yet. Lesson learned. That's on me. Uh, what is in here? I'll take caps. It's not like I need more of them, but like I'll take them. Can you imagine if stims were real? No, I. Uh, I don't love the idea of that, honestly. Have you played Fallout 4? No, this is the only Fallout game I've ever played. Um, I've watched other people play Fallout 4 a little bit, so I know, like, some of the general plot. That looks like a plane tail in the distance, if I had to guess. I'm not one for betting much, but... Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, God, what in the hell? Why are you the way that you are? No, oh, where are you? Come out in the open. I missed. Now I won't. Fallout 4 is meh. Yeah, I think, so, I will say this, I have not played Fallout 4, I have not watched it in full, so I recognize that my criticisms may not be... What's a good way, way to phrase it? Like, they may not be... hold a lot of weight. But from what I've seen, I think... One of my... one of the things about Fallout 4 that's not great is actually the character customization. Um... Doesn't give you a ton of options. Like, I was watching a friend try and play it, and they're like, I literally don't have the resources to like look like myself and that's really that's a huge bummer and for a game that's released in like the late 2010s you know it's like i feel like you should really make sure that you have enough assets to make sure that people can actually look like themselves um so that was like a huge bummer to watch them be like i don't even want to play this anymore like it's really fun to be able to play an rpg and play as yourself and i can't even do that <laughs> kira hello um, also, like, the dialogue, I know a lot of people famously have talked about their problems with the dialogue, and I've watched people stream it and be like, why is this, why is this like this? <laughs> My biggest gripe is the companions, they're not interesting, the perks they give are either useless or obtained too late to be useful. Yeah, I think... Honestly, what I do like about this game specifically is that the followers, you don't have a lot of them, but they all have, like, Characters and stories and motivations. Oh god. Well, that dog's dead. I just want to shoot the bug. I don't want to shoot the bug anymore. Uh Thank you. Like, one of my criticisms with Skyrim is that you have a bunch of followers, but they're all largely the same. Like, they all have, like, the same dialogue. They don't really do... Like, the only really unique follower I can think of off the top of my head is Serana from the DLC. My problem with Fallout 4 is that the story is rather intrusive for the open world experience. That's a really interesting criticism, actually. Um, 
Oh, oh god, I'm sorry, Chuck. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you, riddle you with bullets, but you walked into my line of fire. <laughs> um, like, Skyrim, the only really interesting followers I can think of off the top of my head are, like, Serana, um, in the... Uh, the Vampire Dawnguard DLC, and then in the Dragonborn DLC, you get, what's his name? It's escaping me at the moment, but he's a dark elf who lives in Raven Rock, and he's cool because, like, he has a lot of interesting dialogue, um, because he's, like, a unique follower. Never stood a funny how there's Mantis is here, like, in Vault 22. I don't think it's funny. I think it's miserable, and I hate it. Ew. All right, well, let's break into the desk. <laughs> Little scout launch box. Oh, that's right. I have to find five of those. Oh, I'm also dying. There we go. Ayla Huntress is pretty cool. I... Okay. I feel like a lot of Skyrim fans are going to get mad at me about this. I don't... I don't hate Ayla, right? But she doesn't really do it for me. I don't know. Like... How do I phrase this? Ayla feels like... I just don't love her writing. She's like, I love the hunt, and the hunt is great. And it's like, okay, but... It do you have any other hobbies or interests? But Ayla wears skimpy clothes. Okay, that's that is something. Like you're gonna tell me you're part of this like mercenary war band and you're not gonna wear functional armor. Like, ma'am, Miss Ma'am. I also do not feel strongly about her. The companions. Oh, don't. I will go on my companions rant in a second. Uh, cause you, you're gonna open that can of worms. Uh, reshipping error. Hi, Mandy. This is Horace Applebaum out at the Zion General Store. I placed an order three weeks ago for the Deluxe Mountain Man all-in-one survival kits. You know, the ones that come with a compass, pair of walkie-talkies, full first aid kit. I'm writing to you as of today, 6-15-2057. I still haven't received the shipment. I'm fresh out of the kits here, and with the summer tourist season picking up, I really need the new ones ASAP. Thanks, Horace. Bus tour? Dear Scoutmaster... Mitchum, thanks for following up. You'll be happy to know the Little Scout lunchbox is your order to have a ride. You can pick them up from the general store when you arrive in Zion. General stores open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to nightfall. We look forward to seeing you and your scouts on Independence Day. All the best, Horace. Shipping problems again. Mandy, who the hell is running this shipping company? I've just received three crates of Dinky the Dinosaur officially licensed dino action dolls. These things were supposed to go to some tourist trap in Nevada. How did they end up here? Mandy, what the hell can I do with this stuff? Maybe if we file off the dinky trademarking, we can turn them around as kitty souvenirs and make a few bucks, but I'm still looking at a major loss here. Whatever's going on in your shipping department, take care of it or I'll find someone else to handle my orders. I swear to God, yours, Horace. P.S. I still haven't received that order of survival gear I requested last month. You know, the things I can actually sell people. So sassy. So sassy molassy. Don't get me wrong, even if I never use the transformation, I won't say no to disease immunity. Oh, for sure. Also, am I poisoned? I am. Cool. Beautimus. I really need to get more anti-poisons, otherwise I'm gonna die. Um, so my beef with the companions, real quick, because y'all know I just can't shut up about the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> so the companions is like a fighter's guild in Skyrim, and... I, I don't, I think the first reason I have a hard time liking them is that their lore just is a little funky to me. Like, hold on, search for the lunch boxes in the general store, search for the medical supply kit, but I know they never made it here, so I'm gonna have to like really search around, I guess. Um... Yeah, okay, cool. I just have to really search around. So, with- with- My first beef with the companions is that they're intrinsically tied to being werewolves. Hear me out. I don't have a problem with werewolves, but if you're doing, like... If you're doing a non-Daedric playthrough, then you can't be a companion. 
Because in the lore of the Elder Scrolls, werewolves are spawns of Hercene, who is a Daedric prince. So, like, I've done playthroughs where I'm like, I'm not going to do anything with Daedra. And then it's like, oh, well, then I can't join the companions. And then the other thing is, the companions are um, extremely tied to the lore of Wuthrod, or, uh, which is an elf murdering axe because the companions were founded as this group to fight the indigenous elves of Skyrim because Nords come from another continent so called Atmora, right? So it's also really, like, it's hard for me to wait. play as an elf and then be like, yeah, I'll join the companions because their whole vibe is like, we don't historically like elves, you know? Don't get me wrong. I think including companions in Skyrim made sense. It's interesting lore, but I really wish they had a separate fighters guild faction. Um, Cause like, I don't know how any elf could want to join the companions with that history. The companions apparently used to have a deeper story. I think some people found evidence in the code that the Silverhand were a break off faction of the companions you could join. I have read quite a bit about cut content. I haven't read about that. I'm not saying it's not true. Um, the thing about Skyrim fans is sometimes they'll come up with a theory and then peddle that theory as fact. So I'm always a little like, is that the truth though? You know? Um, like, somebody had a theory that the College of Winterhold questline was supposed to do a lot more with Winterhold. And then everyone's like, yeah, it was supposed to do time travel. There's no clues. The only information we have about the College of Winterhold in the actual data is that there were a few quests that were cut, but none of them had anything to do with Winterhold itself. You know, I think I've found four out of five lunchboxes so far. Otherwise, it would have told me I was done. Um, we know that there was a quest where you were supposed to find four lost, dead... Um, you're supposed to find four lost, dead apprentices which you can still find in the game they all have unique items that are named for them but you can't actually do anything with that quest because it was never completed you can find there was a, supposed to be another quest where you did something for the enchanting professor there was supposed to be a quest where you did like a fetch quest for the alteration professor um like the shadow of a ghost i don't know where this last Lunch boxes, gang. Where in? Hmm. I, if you don't mind, I have a recommendation for your next level up. I would love that because I never know what I'm doing during level ups. Does anyone know where this last lunch box is? I'm losing my mind. I thought I. Is it in the cash register? That's fine. I don't really need the key, but I'm gonna take it because I like hoarding shiny things. Where is this ding dang lunchbox? Does the local map help? Oh, that's a good question. Dead ahead? Oh, there we go, thank you. Found it. Huzzah! Cool. Sorry, I got stuck <laughs> looking around it here. The Fighters Guild in Cyrodiil gives you a cut of the profits every month in the Helm of Orin Bearclaw. What does the Companions give you? The Fighters Guild in Oblivion is not, in my opinion, the best quest line. Like, I, like for me, it's just not my favorite. It's not my most memorable. But I do think it's more interesting than what the Companions are doing. I think with the Companions, like, I really wish the Silver Hand was a bigger threat. Basically, the Companions have a secret pact of, like, werewolf coven situation going on. And there's this clan of mercenary of, of werewolf hunters called the Silverhand. And I really wish oh, not you again. I am so tired. Please just go away. Help here. There we go, geez. <gasps> Sorry, so the Silverhand. I really wish they had more lore because literally all we know about them is that they have this this sincere hatred of 
werewolves. And so when they suss out the fact that the companions are secretly werewolves, how they find out, I have no idea, and it would have been interesting to know that. Um, so they just hate the companions, but don't tell anyone? Like, you'd think you would say, hey, Whiterun, you have a clan of Daedra worshippers under your nose. There should be consequences to that, right? And then also, like, one of the disappointing things about the companions, here's something that's that's really disappointing to me. In the actual game, they have a leader, but the leader um, is randomized in every playthrough. Like there's a table of different races that they will be. They have no real dialogue, no motivations. They are simply an antagonist in the sense that they block your way from whatever your goals might be. Right? But, like, you don't actually know, like, their deal, and you can't join them? Like, it would have been so interesting for somebody playing a Daedra hunting playthrough to be able to join the Silverhand and be like, yeah, I hate Daedra. They're kind of like the Vigilance of Stendar, but for whatever reason, specifically werewolves, and I would love to know why, you know? Why specifically do you hate werewolves so much? Oh, <laughs> man, turn into a dog, white run! Maybe they'll tell us more in the next Skyrim release for the PS6. <laughs> the, uh, coming next summer, the third, the fourth DLC for, for freaking Elder Scrolls V. <laughs> Could you believe it? I mean, I would actually consider getting it. I know I have a problem. I know. I know. I'm part of the problem. I know this. I think PS6 is optimistic. Look, I have made this very clear. I genuinely don't think an Elder Scrolls 6 is coming for at least another six years. At least, minimum. Because first they have to actually release Starfield. And then they have to do DLC for Starfield. And then they have to, you know, do all that, right? Eventually they'll get to PS or to 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 Elder Scrolls 6 pre-development, right? Eventually, but then they have to like you know, get all their systems together, and uh, their engine has changed. Um... I'm concerned for Hammerfell. I wonder what lessons they learned from past games. Well, we don't actually know if it's taking place in Hammerfell yet. This medical supply kit is mostly intact, but several of the sterile bandages have been broken open, and the disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what's there, or you can find replacements for the contaminated components. Alternately, you can use alcohol to re-sterilize the bandages. Hold on, I have to understand what my options are here. Um, several of the bandages have been broken open, disinfectant bottles leaking. You can try to salvage what's there, find replacements. Let's sterilize the kit with alcohol, I guess? I don't know if that's the right choice. Oh! Which requires one scotch, one vodka, or one whiskey. Um, hold on. Can I find a scotch in here? Find duct tape? Find turpentine? Where the hell am I gonna find all this junk? All right, duct tape. Bark scorpion hunter? Oh, it's just Way I heard it. corpse. Salt upon um, electronics, electronics. In an... What else does it need? Turpentine? Scotch or whiskey. Surely someone's drinking at their desk, right? Someone's got a secret problem? No, no, no. I never grab alcohol bottles because I never need them. Beans. I don't want to have to go and come back. I'm going to take it with me. Uh... Where the hell would I find turpentine? Turpentine is what you use to um, dissolve certain types of paint. Would they have that here? Maybe back in the general store? Let's go check. If you just salvage the kit, you complete the quest with less experience. Is it fine? I'm not gonna like rub, like severely change the course of the game because I don't want to go looking for all this junk. K 
Can't wait to hear my great grandchildren speak of Fallout New Vegas 2. <laughs> Kaden, hello. Um, cool. We're just gonna do that. That's fine. I don't feel like doing all that. But yeah, yeah. Sorry, someone earlier was saying the game looks like it'll come out in like twenty, what, like twenty thirty maybe. I honestly think that's a possibility, and that's not. Again, I'm not saying like, oh, but that's just bad for not making a sequel. Um, role playing games, live, live. What's the word? Open world role playing games are a lot of work to develop. You know. Um, but for me, I don't really, it's going to be dark again and I can't see nothing. I'm not personally, as of right now, I'm not like super interested in Starfield and that's not a condemnation of the game. I like sci-fi a lot. I'm just very picky with my sci-fi. 2025 was the first guest I heard. They assumed that Starfield would have been released years ago. Yeah, Starfield has been delayed, and then they have to do DLC and maintenance, so I'm guessing Starfield's gonna have... Assuming Starfield releases this year, it'll probably have another two, three years of development, you know? If I don't have a mommy... If, if it don't have a mommy, Claw, I don't want it. <laughs> What sci-fi do you like? Oh, uh, that's a really good question. Uh, one of my favorite sci-fi novels is The Sparrow. It is long, it is dense, um, but it is really, really good. Um, I also really like Left Hand of Darkness. That's another, if, you, if you're if you a sci-fi buff, I highly recommend Left Hand of Darkness. It is also pretty chunky, but not nearly as long as The Sparrow. Um, I think those are probably my two favorites off the top of my head. Ooh, I'll take those. Thank you. Um, off the top of my head, those are probably my favorites. When it comes to gaming, I personally don't mind if a sci-fi game isn't super based in science, right? Like, I'm cool if aliens exist and instantaneous space travel exists, right? Personally, I don't need my... Um sci-fi game to be based in hyper-realism. And with Starfield, it it's it seems like it's trying really hard to be as grounded in uh, science as possible, which is not bad. That's There's nothing wrong with that. But it seems like it's a game that's really interested in like Goldilocks zones and no aliens exist, it's just humans. And for me personally, it's like, if you're making a sci-fi role-playing game, why not include aliens? <laughs> you know what I mean? My favorite sci-fi game was Mass Effect. I've never played any of the Mass Effect games. So um, I haven't actually played a lot of sci-fi games. I think I've probably read more sci-fi than played it, if that makes sense. Why is there a cowboy hat up there? It was a park ranger hat. My favorite sci-fi game is Metroid. I played a little bit of Metroid Prime at a friend's house once, but I like never finished it. You know what I mean? Nope, there's another enemy here. Um, so for me, Starfield, I'm not personally interested in it because it seems like it's like, let's make sci-fi based in lots of real science and make everything really crunchy and I don't know. So far, based on the trailer that we've had, Something that I don't love is so it looks like Starfield gives you this giant chunky spacesuit when you're on non Earth atmosphere planets, which is fine and makes sense. But here's the thing like, they spent all this time showing off a character creator just to put you in a big, sp stuffy white spacesuit. So you can't even like admire your character, you know? Like, I think one of the things about making sci-fi in the game genre is you have to consider the fact like if you want your if you want to encourage your player to play in third person you want them to be able to like see their character <laughs> the narrows okay i like no man's sky i have watched people play no man's sky i don't think i've ever played it if you enjoy sci-fi i strongly recommend nor crystal tears by alan dean foster it's a first contact novel from the perspective of aliens Ooh. Thank you for that. The Sparrow is also a first contact novel. Um, 
And I think it's it's interesting, like that's not a genre that immediately jumps out at me, but when it's good, it's like good, you know what I mean? And that does interest me a lot. You you coming for me or you just on a jockey? Oh hey, that water effect looks pretty good. I have to say. For an old game. Oh, are you trying to talk you to me? You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> I like your bear glove. Where can I get one? A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yaogwai that threatened our people, our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Oh, what's your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? I mean, I hope this doesn't come off as insensitive, but y'all named yourselves, didn't you? Midwife, I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. <laughs> what do you do when you're not delivering babies? What a weird question to ask someone. I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. What? Uh, give me some info on Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the Holy Books. Holy Books? Again. This DLC has a little too much favor for white saviors. <laughs> yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the Holy Tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The Father in the Caves brought it to them after the Judgment. But the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. White man's burned in the DLC, no! <laughs> Again, mechanically I enjoy this DLC a lot, but these parts get a little uncomfy. Also... Were there holy books written in English? Oh wait, no, they're Mormon, right? So I think it was written in English. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. That feels a little weird. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed. And so here I am. Again. We couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't somehow maintain medical knowledge post-apocalypse? How does that get lost? Oh no, <laughs> English is the holy language? Colonial Britain would love that. <laughs> oh no. Have you looked at Outer Worlds? I've never played it. I do want to stream it in the future. Because my understanding is it was also developed by Obsidian. That is on my like two stream list. What? Also, this just made me remember the fact that in the post-apocalypse, epidurals don't exist. I could, I could never. Look, I already don't want children. I have no interest in having children. Not, not for me, right? Having to give birth in this environment? No, thank you. I know people used to do it. I know they could do it again. None for me. None for me. Medical knowledge being lost makes sense. The other things don't. I don't have... Oh, that's true. I don't have medical knowledge. Most people don't. I don't know. I had... Look, I went to a public school. So my, my sex ed wasn't like the best. But I still learned a decent amount. We had to watch a water birth. <laughs> I'll never forget. So if you don't know, uh, one method of birth is to sit in like a bathtub or to like... If you have a deep enough tub, you can like squat in a bathtub. Um, and for a number of reasons, it's it's a very sort of... it's a sometimes more comfortable way of giving birth. And one of my friends <laughs> raised their hand to ask our teacher and was like, 
Wait, so do babies, are babies born with gills? <laughs> and we're all like, girl, girl, babies float. No one's going to intentionally drown their child while giving birth. No, what? <laughs> public school. In public school, you learn most of what you need. No, you know, you know, look, I'm very grateful. My parents worked very hard so I could go to a decent school. I, I will always be very grateful for that. I went to a, a pretty, I think, a pretty good school. Um, all things considered, there's a lot I am now learning as an adult that I really wish I had learned in high school. <laughs> I will never get over the fact I always assumed epidurals were like a shot. It is a tube. So if you don't know what epidural is like, basically like massive pain relief medication for when people are giving birth because that is extremely painful and traumatic. I assumed it was some kind of like shot or IV. They shove a pipe into your spine and... If anyone accidentally steps on it or trips on it, it could break off in your spine. Duh! I feel like that's information I should know before deciding to have chill. Like, you know, if you want me to make informed choices, inform me, right? Oh God, like pe 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 there was this person on TikTok who was saying how they have a permanent scar in their back because that happened. A nurse accidentally tripped on it. It broke and now their back's all messed up. No, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Once again, Clara discusses the tr the horrors of childbirth. I have no interest. <laughs> oh man, tell me more about your tribe. <laughs> we have dwelt in the narrows since the end that came in fire, when the father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the holy. Time. Oh wait, English is we straight up the holy language for you people. In the valley. At least before salt upon wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Okay, that needs to be removed from the childbirthing preparation list. Medical tech is much better than that now. But <laughs> that's the thing. Here's the thing. Again. People will talk about like, oh, I would love to live in, in a, a different time. If any time before 1851 didn't have germ theory, all right? I, I like knowing about germs because that really helps improve life expectancy. <laughs> You'll find out by reading lore. Got it. Okay, I was like, is this just going to be kind of like eh, for the entire thing? <laughs> that makes you feel better. Okay. What do you know about salt upon wounds? He is war chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. I wouldn't mind living in a different time period, but that time period is the future. <laughs> Who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard about the new Canaanites. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, Caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I see. That's fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. Mm. His knowledge of the father is greater than my own. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, where is my bud? Follows Chalk. Did I tell you to wait again, or did you just die? All right, well, I've discovered the camp, right? No. All right, let me discover the camp, and then I'm going to go try and pick up our bud. I have to sneeze. I'm sorry. Ugh. 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 I stopped it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Ugh. Here, follow, follower, follower, here, follower, follower, follower. Okay, where are you? I think he's coming. He might have just 
died from poison. Oh, I haven't discovered the caterpillar's mound yet. All right, let's go discover that. Uh, we gotta go find our bud. Nerd, hello, welcome in. I'm well, how are you? Wiggles, hello, hello. We were just talking about uh, <laughs> the horrors of childbirth. <laughs> and uh, trying to suss out the lore in this DLC. So, good morning, hello, how are you? Is this Caterpillar Mound? That's probably Caterpillar Mound. I'm glad you're well. Thank you. Yeah, uh, basically, basically we were just talking about how we met this like midwife character and I was just saying, man, do we, having to give birth in like the post-apocalypse sounds like a nightmare. Wait, Paul's job, where? All right, what if, if we teleport together, will you show up? There we go, I fixed it. Whoa, cowboy hat. Oh, it's Daniel. For some reason I expected Daniel to be in like a office or something. <laughs> I don't know why, I just didn't expect him to just be sitting here in the rain. Oh, there are auto docks, you know, that's true. Oh wait, that's right, people were saying to talk to Chalk first. Let's, let's have a chit chat. What can I tell you? I don't know. What's with this obsession you seem to have with quote civilization? Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I no. Asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. Ye okay, this is where like world building is important. All cultures have some kind of musical history, right? Some kind of musical cultural practice. You cannot tell me that you would lose all music in the post-apocalypse, even if you created a new musical practice, a new instrument. Because here's the thing, all cultures have to, to have to have leisure, right? Like, like a lot of games have been invented because people had downtime, right? Because before the rise of capitalism, people had a lot of time, right? If it's the winter, and you're a bunch of like farmers, there's not much to farm. You have a lot of time on your hands. So you have to fill that time with storytelling, with music, with dance, with all kinds of leisure activities, games. You, even in the apocalypse, surely people would still be like, oh, I can hum, I can sing. This, this is where I'm getting lost. <laughs> also, particularly for cultures that don't um, have a written language, Oral storytelling becomes that much more important, and oftentimes storytelling is actually done through song. Like, don't quote me on this, because it's been a minute since I studied, like, Beowulf and junk, but aren't, weren't a lot of epic poems performed as songs? Like, I believe that is a theory at the very least, right? Like, they're at the very least, they rhyme and have alliteration so that the, the poet can remember what they are orating, right? So, like, how... How do you lose all of that? This is when I'm like, yeah, your culture would know what a singer is. Now, the idea of a singer who travels and doesn't stay with one culture, that could be different. But you can't tell me you don't know singing. <laughs> yeah, sorry, the Odyssey. Yeah, the Odyssey was a song, right? Like, uh, and that's why there's a few different, like, um, variations of the myths and stuff. Because with songs, you know, details get changed, all that jazz. So I'm like, I just, I can't, like, you, huh? Survivors of plane crashes used songs, dancing, and storytelling to keep morale up. Exactly. Um, when, when, uh, there's, like, a lot of militaries, even when people aren't necessarily, like, in active war, right? Like, in South Korea, they, well, technically, I guess, but in South Korea, they will do talent shows. For, like, all the soldiers can choose to participate in talent shows, right? Because it, like, gives people something to do, and it, it lets people, you know, perform, and it sort of breaks up the monotony of things. There's, there's, there's so much to it, right? So I'm just, like, you... 
You can't tell me a culture doesn't have song. I have yet to learn of a culture that doesn't. Now, maybe there, there's one that exists. I'm no anthropologist, but to my knowledge, all cultures have some kind of, 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 of instrument or singing, even if it's just a drum. Drums are really easy to make, you know? Like, you can tap two sticks together and that's an instrument. So I'm like, I, <laughs> what? I think that's fun though, because it sounds like that's like the, the, the drifter guy that I got to work at Tops. That sounds like who they met, which is fun. Uh, what does Joshua think? Oh yeah, I know that guy. I got him a job. <laughs> a job as a singer? Then it really is true. What does Joshua think of this? I, um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the growins. Really? Maybe I could talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. It sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. What happens when a frog parks illegally? Oh, I don't know. I'm bad at jokes. Civilized man's burden? Was that the name of the quest? Uh, hmm? But, uh, hmm? Can, hmm? Okay. <laughs> it's such a surprise that the theater nerd is passionate about music. No, see, this is... <laughs> For me, like, as somebody who, like, casually likes world building as a concept, right? Um, if you're gonna create... Because, like, look, some people spent middle school going on dates and learning how to kiss. I spent middle school creating fantasy maps and then creating cultures to reside within those fantasy maps. And real quick, you learn if you're gonna create a fantasy culture... You gotta create all of the cornerstones of the cornerstones of culture, right? Which is uh, fashion, names, history, language, music, right? Like, uh, what is a culture without art, right? So, <laughs> for me, it's more just like if you're going to create a culture in a given story setting, you have to ask these questions, right? Um, what kind of? How do you name things, right? Um, how, like, Tolkien famously, yeah, Tolkien is a point. Tolkien included elven alphabets and index sections in Return of the King. Tolkien, people don't always know this, Tolkien was a linguist first before he was a fantasy author. He's an extremely talented linguist. He has done some really incredible translation work. I've actually never finished Lord of the Rings, but I have read some of his translations, and they're, they're very excellent. Um, so... He was like doing con lang as, as a fun thing, right? He was making these constructed languages and learned real fast. I can't just create a language without knowing the people who contextualize it. So essentially my point is, um, this isn't even like a theater nerd thing. It's just like, if you're gonna create a culture, you have to ask these questions. What does your culture do when they're not working? What does this culture classify as work, right? Like, eh, eh. Don't know why it sounds like you were a dragon girl growing up. What is a dragon girl? I know about horse girls. I wanted to be a horse girl. I just couldn't afford to be. <laughs> and then there's C.S. Lewis. <laughs> I never got into those books. To be fair, Tolkien's a really high bar to set for other authors. Oh, yeah. Let me be clear. Again. Tolkien was a linguist first. Your average author may not be super confident in constructing an entire language because that's an extremely specific skill set. I'm not trying to say everyone needs to be Tolkien. I want to make that very clear. I'm not saying that every author needs to be Tolkien. Um, it's just for me personally, if you're going to create a culture, ask these questions. Even if it's just, they have drums. That's fine. That's enough. Um, if they don't have music, there's definitely reasons for that. You can make reasons for that, right? In, in universes like, uh, I forget the name of it now. There was a movie that came out a few years ago with uh, Emily Blunt and her husband, John Krasinski where like these aliens come to earth and you can't make any sound or they'll hunt you down. So like they communicate using ASL and whatever. That is a world where not having music makes sense, right? So if you have like a culture, let's say you have a fantasy culture and there's like this crazy predator that hunts through sound, obviously they're not gonna make music, right? Then at least that makes sense. A quiet place, thank you. I could not remember what that was. Dragon girls are like horse girls, but dragons, I was not that. I always thought dragons were cool, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't think I resonate with that role <laughs> the same amount. Uh, Footloose Town? <laughs> yeah, essentially. 
Um, all right. Hello, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, Don't like that dialogue. I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. But you're not Frank, you're Daniel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Back at it again with the white legs. <laughs> uh, what do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having. But my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone. And it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. You said you, quote, used to help the Sorrows with problems. What do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Has this happened before, the White Legs attacking other tribes? Yes, but not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors, slavers, anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the Tar Walkers and the Crazy Horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. Daniel's talking about this like he built his fantasy football league wrong when these are like entire groups of people who just got decimated. My guy. Like, <laughs> this is a little bit more grave <laughs> than how you're making it out to be. <laughs> okay, but what's your opinion on polygamy, Daniel? So teach the Soros to fight? I mean, like, here's the other thing. You're not going to just attack another group of people without a good reason, right? Either it's because they're usually it's because of resources, right? Some kind of resource problem. Either you, they have a defensive position that you need. Um, they have supplies you need. Your supplies are running low. Sometimes it's like a revenge thing and it's like, well, they hurt people we care about. So we have to pay that in kind. So I am also frustrated by the fact that as of right now, based on the lore I've been given, the White Legs are just aggressive for the sake of being aggressive. I really hope that we get more lore as to why. Don't spoil it, but I'm just like, cause lore is expensive. It is, it, it, like, I'm, I'm guessing war profiteers don't necessarily exist in Zion National Park in the post-apocalypse, right? So like you need to have like medical supplies and food and obviously you're losing people to all of these skirmishes and the uh... white legs are doing it to be allowed to join the legion got it okay still they're also gonna get played by the legion though like we can all acknowledge that the white legs are here already so what's your plan to remove the sorrows from harm's way i have to give credit to the white legs for finding their way here Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the grand staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. How did they make it this far if they don't know how to live off? Someone's got to try and learn foraging, right? You can't. Ah, this, this is where the world building gets a little thin. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. That's right. If they kill all the Canaanites, then Caesar will let them join. That's right. I, I'm i sorry. Again, it's been a week since I've played, so <laughs> I was forgetting some of the details. Um, Why are you so eager to evacuate Zion? You don't seem to be a pacifist. Also, here's the thing. If the White Legs are really this tenacious, leaving's not going to stop them. There's an old saying that goes, if you want peace... Get ready for war. That You've what about diplomacy, my guy? I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. 
The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. I appreciate that you're taking responsibility, but again, uh, <laughs> white legs have always taken from other people. Yeah, but that's not sustainable, right? Like, at a certain point, someone's got to be like, hey, I wonder if I can just eat this plant instead of having to risk my life to steal from someone, you know? Speak softly and carry a bitch stick. <laughs> You're right to leave. I don't think you should kill any of the white legs. That's an awful lot of responsibility. Why is this your... Uh... If you're willing to defend the sorrows, why not pursue the white legs? There is an important difference between killing and defense and waging war. Even a gentile like you should know that. Joshua is a new Canaanite. He's obviously willing to attack the white legs. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. Can't disagree there. Him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. All right, Joshua now you're getting a little on the head with your themes the here. have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will, but it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. What do you know of the father in the caves? Father in the... Oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Isn't that just like colonization with extra steps, though? <laughs> you might want to have a chat with them. They think your lord and the father are the same. Oh? Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. What do you know of the white legs? They're hateful savages. Okay, let's not use that word either, destroy. bud. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. Yeah, that's my thing. Like, you, that's not sustain. You can't murder your way to sustainability, right? It's just not possible. It's just not like if, if, if they murder everyone in their region, they're still going to have to figure out how to catch a fish. It doesn't make any sense. Uh... Oh, you can do medical assistance. Uh, Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, Thank you. they're ignorant. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile. Or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Restore our fortunes. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, anything to help. Sure. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. 
And hopefully you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Explosives are always handy. Daniel, Daniel has given you some pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but could prove to be used to collapse certain caves if that proves necessary in your exploration. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Oh. <laughs> Typical, just what I get a useful minion. Are you sure you've been a useful companion so far? Not really, but I want to be nice. Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you like. Um, give my regards to Joshua then. I will. Good going, Akis. A shame that I can't just also be like, goodbye. Like, I'm specifically tying him to his relationship with Joshua. All right. Um... Cool. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? Yeah, sure, let's go. Certainly. We should make haste then. Uh, quiet as the waters perk. While waking cloud is in your party, it is much easier to sneak by the white legs. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Why is it that they only have these, like, lean-tos? They don't want to waterproof their homes more? You know, I'm not going to question it. Ad break, thank you. Um, sure, I will take a quick, um, quick break to save and stretch. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. Oh, that makes sense. It's the active guard. The rest are in caves. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, Saint. I appreciate it. Am I the only one that can't forget the connection of give my regards to the Red Wedding in Game of Thrones? That's when they betray people, right? I have not seen a lot of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I read the books. Because everyone's like, these are really good. And honestly, I think those books would be... How do I say this? I think the Game of Thrones books are unnecessarily dense, right? Like, there was a lot of, of like, tangents and just chapters that could have been thinned down. I think abridging the series would do it some good. You know, never watched a red Game of Thrones. Probably not going to. Yeah, I ended up reading it because everyone's like, oh, Game of Thrones is really good and the show is really good. And so I like sort of made my way through the books. And I think there was definitely some really interesting concepts, but it's it's sometimes it really felt like a chore. Yeah, the, after the first two books, it, it was there was a lot of filler. It was really like, where is the editor? You know, like, why aren't you paring this down more? I can't fast travel? Why? Okay, I guess something's gonna happen if it's not letting me fast travel. Red Wedding is the assassination of King Rob. Right. Thank you. Are you here to talk to me? By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it. Raise it even to the foundation." O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? You don't want to leave Zion. You'd rather kill every last one of the white legs. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace, but they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore. 
like any other. Practiced hands make for short work. And the good lord knows there's much to be done here. My guy. My guy. My guy. Okay, hold back. You can't be judge, jury, and executioner, my dude. That's not righteous. That's ex... Well, I guess extrajudicial doesn't matter if, if you're in a region that doesn't seem to have any laws. But you know what I mean? Like... I'm not saying... Like... It, obviously, the white legs are bad news. But he, it still feels like he just, he's, like, a little too excited for this opportunity. <laughs> uh, this conversation just got pretty dark. Uh, what about happy dashing the little ones? Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, but an insult to the Lord requires... No. It demands correction. Uh... Mm. They did burn his town. That's true. But it, hmm, I don't, eh, I don't believe, I don't know if you figured this out yet, but I don't believe what you believe. Then as a Gentile, you should find this to be even more beneficial. If the sorrows stay in Zion, you will always have a link to New Canaan. If the sorrows leave Zion, so too do the New Canaanites. What's more, you'll have more white legs coming farther south. You may not be concerned over matters of faith, but this is a case where faith and practicality coincide. No one wants the white legs here. We just need to convince Daniel that it's our responsibility to ensure that doesn't happen. You know, here's my thing. This is all big yikes. So the white legs resort to pillaging because they have no self-sustainable skill sets. And so now they want to join Senior's Legion. You really haven't just tried diplomacy. Maybe I'm oversimplifying things here, but you can't just go to them and be like, look, instead of joining Caesar's Legion, how about we just teach you how to live and you don't have to murder all the time? Like, ugh. All right. So... Welcome back. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you know of Salt Upon Wounds? He's a butcher. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No, he likes to have a hand in it, with that spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. So, I, I, I think Joshua's failing to see that, like, what makes you any different from him then? Right? That's Diplomacy true. seems a little too optimistic. They won't talk if they think they can take. Yeah, that is that is a very fair analysis. Thank you for the bits. I think here's the thing. What is the difference between Salt Upon Wounds and Joshua Graham in this moment? Because they both seem real willing to just schmurder to get what they want. You know what I mean? Uh, Do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Follows Chalk seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I've visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? You know that means I'm going to encourage him to leave, right? Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life. 
just not for me. Why is that up to us, though? No one expects the Ivan Inquisition. <laughs> Ivan, welcome in. Uh, pray God, what are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Uh, if you say so. Whether there is a god or not, his existence doesn't depend on what you believe or what I say. There is much to be skeptical of in this world, so it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. But I believe that our Lord was made flesh. Thank you Jesus again for Christ the incredible commission. You did such amazing work, Claire at Six Heart. And the sorrows. Hi, man. The White Lakes. You're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. You didn't have to cheer all the bits. Thank you. <laughs> if anyone's interested, I do have commissions open. I made Ivan a fun little PFP. And I I actually I had a ton of fun working on it. I streamed it most of it yesterday, if anyone's interested in checking that out. Thank you so much. A better question might be, what is the difference between Joshua now and Joshua when he was Caesar's right hand? Yeah, it's not a bad question. Uh, can I ask you some personal questions? It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? Ooh, are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? You are kind to offer, but no, there's nothing you can do. We don't use cams. But I learned long ago that I'm immune to their effects. It never stops burning. My skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. That's rough, buddy. What are you doing here? You gonna... Talk to anyone, or are you just on a stroll? It is kind of weird that he came all the way here just to tell me that. I don't know why I couldn't just... talk to him back at the camp? Uh, we gotta go this way? Yeah, this way. I mean, is itching pain maybe what makes him irritable and murder happy? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I have empathy for that. Like, that sucks, you know? I think I have to go up and around. Maybe? How do I get up there? Duh! <laughs> you have to- Oh god! You have to admit, Joshua had a fire career! <laughs> Yeesh. That guy hurt! You hit so hard! Fresh apple. Okay. And we'll take some stim packs. You could say it's at a solar blaze. Oh, God. I know something's attacking me. I think this might be the way to go. No, I'll wait for you to get closer. My weapon spread is not great. Go, Goral. Give him the old one, too. Come on. Ugh. 
Stop running around. Just die. Jeez. An apple day keeps the dog tour away. Oh, are you sad? I wish you could have met my family. You would like them, I think. Oh, that's a sweet sentiment. Hmm. Green geckos are only in Zion, but are the most dangerous ones. Yeah, these guys hit hard. Yeesh. At least I'm getting caps out of this. Sexy sleepwear? Yeah, let's go. And we're gonna go up. Yeah, I think this is right. This is right. We have to just go. <gasps> Criminy. Maybe next time, bud. I think this is the way, right? Yeah, up and around. Get your survival up. Oh, I'm going to need to make the anti venom. That's a good point. Thank you. Those guys are stealth lizards. No, I'm just, like, not paying attention to my surroundings. <laughs> Caution. Danger. Oh, what the hell? Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! Oh, that's a good question. What is my armor like? Oh, no, that's good. My follower is kind of on fire, though. I've always wondered what fire breathing would smell like if it didn't ignite properly. That's a horrible thought. What's the story? Morning glory. What's the word? Hummingbird. We should not be here. This place. It belongs to the father in the caves. We must not profane it with our touch. <sighs> what are you talking about? The father in the caves. The holy father who gave the sorrows his succor and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him. And those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. All right. I, I'll respect your beliefs, but we still need to search the cave. I understand. I would prefer to leave as soon as possible, though. Sure, we can do that. Oh, that song was from Bye Bye Birdie, Theater Kid stuff. <laughs> I swear, if there's like a robot in here, I'm just assuming it was like maybe a ghoul or something. Giant spore plant? You gotta be joking me. Why is this plant so sturdy? Why isn't it hurt by bullets? It's a plant. Guy man, hello, I'm well, how are you? Vault 22 friends spread all the way out of here. Yeesh. Oh, I killed a bunch of abominations. That's cool. Spore plant pods? No, I'm good. Why is there a lantern in here? If this place is so forbidden, why is there a lantern in it? Does shooting a tree kill it? Honestly, I was wondering, like, plants... I guess, like, plants aren't like people. They work differently. Why is that lantern still burning? You know, all good questions. I mean, that's kind of like, why are there... When Lit torches in Skyrim. New Canaan, he ordered the white legs to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? I want to figure out where to go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ow! What 
the hell? Thank you for the head pats. I think something was rigged to shoot me. Oh, there's bear traps. Cool. Survival cache. Don't mind if I do. Grand staircase map hollow tape. Uh. Hmm. Ooh, terminal. Year 2108. August 22nd. Ten sets of tracks half mile northeast of canyon entrance. Barefoot question mark? August 23rd. Saw them through scope. Corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy. Dementia maybe. Oh, I'm not crazy. They're real. God damn it. They're real. Rushed me the moment they saw me snarling like animals. They looked like corpses but don't smell rotted. I'll be putting them out of their misery doing for them what I could never do for myself. The last of them. All gone. 2130. 2113. February 3rth. Happy birthday to me. Uh, happy 60th. What do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of whiskey and a 12-gauge slug through the roof of the mouth. Woo! Buddy! Therapy! Come now, what do I have to prove to myself that I've lived long enough? I'm a shriveled old man, white beard, seen enough sunrises and sunsets. Saw the big sunset, been hanging on through the long night 36 years now. Ridiculous. I'm not kidding myself into thinking there's anything on the other side of this. Fine. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char and Alex, Sylvie and Michael, who could have been... Thoughts of the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye, Zion. Didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two bottles next year. 21, 23. 24 of them. Half boys, half girls. Youngest is 8, maybe. Oldest, 13, 14. Dirty and scrawny. Been on foot a long time. Children's crusade. Struck camp on nearly the same spot as Los Mexicanos 30 years and a lifetime ago. I spent two nights listening to them. English, literate. One of them reads stories where the little ones fall asleep. They escaped some place they called the school, but can't figure out where it was. When they want a little one to behave, they tell him to stop or the principal will get you. Principal better not show up or I'll blow his goddamn head off. I can still shoot straight. Fascinating. So... The man in the caves was literally just a guy? Like a survivalist? Never heard of schools, so... Not probably somebody who lived in a vault ever. Interesting. Had a lot of electronics, too. So, a bit of a tinkerer. I think this is the back of the cave, right? There's nothing else in here? Yeah. I wonder if there's anything else in this cave. Let's see. There is. Get up there. I think I can. Let's go over here. Ammunition box. Cool. Free ammo. Thank you. Ow! God dang it! I'm so tired of this! Stop! Alright, where's my doctor's bag? Explosives crate? Sure. If it's giving me explosives, I might need them, so I'll take some, sure. That's just cool. Cave stuff, cave stuff, cave stuff. I think this is the whole place. No, there's something back this way. But I think that's just a light source. That's just a light source. At least you get a perk for breaking your leg 50 times. Huh. I feel like there's more I'm missing, but I guess not. Oh, that's right. I can sleep in a bed. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Whoa! Professor Panda, hello! Thank you for stopping in! Thank you for the Prime sub. How was the rest of the stream yesterday? That was so kind of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm interested if you have any statements about that. No. 
And the name is John Cena. <laughs> Oh, baby, happy Saturday. Thank you. Yeah. How's Fallout been so far? I've never played a Fallout game. I'm liking it a lot. This DLC, we've been talking about it uh, today. I think mechanically, this is a great DLC. I think some of it has not aged well. <laughs> but I really do like the, the broader game I do enjoy a lot. Do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Moons had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about oh, it. Oh, no. Sad and... Ugh. No, let me talk to him. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Yeah, that's... Yikes, that sucks. Ooh, buddy, do you know something that we need to know? Mm. <laughs> God. Um, What's all this? Wipe out the components, steal the totems, deal with their camp. Kill them, disarm the traps, deal with the traps. Alright, let's steal their totems. Wait, wipe out the encampments? I don't know if I want to do that. Disarm the traps on the bridge. Kill the Yagwai on Pine Creek. Kill the Yagwai. Collapse the Yagwai cave. Deal with the Yagwai. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's try that. Where's that? Okay. There's someone running around out there. I don't know if they're a friend or not, though. Because every once in a while, I will think I'm doing something good and then I'm wrong. Let's disarm these traps. And then we have to go across the bridge. Okay. Evacuating seems like a band-aid solution. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I I feel bad because like I don't want to murder all of these people, but the game's really not giving me any kind of Oh god dang, that scared the freaking pants off me. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, why am I turned around? I want to be going this way. Are there any more enemies? Eh, you've got it. I wonder if you break 50 more legs if you'll get the super tough guy work. <laughs> yeah, I might have to turn off. I mean, the kill cam is useful because it lets me know that there's, like, enemies nearby. Oh, it's just a blow fly. That's fine. Where are the traps? God. Dang. <sighs> what am I missing? So I'm the traps on the bridge. Where are they? Oh, here it is. Dink donk. The kill cam caused my game to crash at one point. Speaking of which, let me save. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, O'Malley. Like, I, I wish the game gave me an option to be diplomatic, but it doesn't seem that it is. Nope, there's a red something or other. This is the only sure path from the Narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. These traps have to come from somewhere. I bet the white legs who placed them are still around. I would suspect you are right. Perhaps we should try to find them before they lay more traps. Yeah, I have a feeling I have to do that. Uh, what should we do about it? Disarm the traps if you can. 
or find the white legs who place them and drive them off. I mean, I think both, Our unfortunately. Our scouts should be able to deal with them if they don't have to fight off raiders at the same time. Thanks for hanging, Soul. Have a good one. Kiwi, hello. I'm well. How are you? Um. There is something on my map that's going haywire, and I can't seem to find it. Beep, 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 beep. Why is my map saying that I'm on top of a map marker right now? I'm missing another one? Yeesh. Oh, no. Disarm. Huh? Hmm. We seem to be. How do you want to handle them? I mean, for the, moment. the game seems pretty hell bent on being like, "Hey, you, we need an antagonist for the DLC, so murder all these people." And it's like, "All right, well, <laughs> okay." <laughs> Where is? I found it. I think. Yeah, cool. That worked. <laughs> I used myself as bait, so, you know, that worked. Um, I think, let me read this quest. No, that was the whole thing. Let me just go find the people who are lurking around, and I'll schmurder them. Well, you're not what I was looking for, but I'll murder you too. Nice. It's confusing, because my companion was like, Hey, we should look for them, and then, um... I don't see any of them. I'm getting co combat music for some reason. Stimpak sickness? I've never had that before. What do I need? Like a, the, where is it? What's the thing? There, fixer. Whoops, I overdosed. That's not good. I didn't expect the quest to complete. I thought I had to like hunt down these people, but I'm not finding them. So I'm not gonna worry about it. This is the weakest DLC. I've only played one other, which is Dead Money. And personally, what the hell? I took Fixer, didn't I? Well, this is extremely annoying. I don't want to have to keep having my vision all blurred. Well, I guess I'll have to just drink more sodi pop instead. All right, let's do that next because that's nearby. Sorry, um, we were talking about the DLCs. I think so far, the Dead Money felt weaker. Dead Money is not bad if you like survival horror, but the environments were really hard to navigate because everything looked so similar. Um, and... How do I phrase this? I think a lot of the game, a lot of that DLC was tell, don't show, you know? Fixer caused the vision effects, but the stim sickness will wear on its own. Oh, I thought Fixer was necessary for the stim pack sickness. Whoops. Ooh, well, thanks. I helped. Oh, wait. Is there anyone else? There's something else, but it might be a Yagwai. Ooh! Oh, 
no, you're just wasting good alcohol on a Molotov. I usually skip dead money when I play through because it's the only DLC that doesn't give you unique loot and perks. Yeah, um, that's actually a really good point. I mean, you do get a lot of money if you choose to take all the gold bars, but I didn't take any of them. Virgin Fork Campground. So many campgrounds. Here Here's who are. Sapper. Let's ruin your leg, shall we? Good luck holding a gun now, you dingus. Where are you going? Where? Oh, there you are. I think she's got it. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I saw something else on my map, and I wasn't sure where it was. The hall rifle's pretty good energy weapon. I don't know. I have the pulse rifle, which is like very good. Oh, well. I love how he crippled his arm so he drops the gun and picks up a hammer. <laughs> you know, that's a really good point. Why are you walking so slow, my dude? How many bullets is this gonna take, my man? Ow! Let's go. I got him, yeah, there we go. I was like, I got him most you of the mean, way. Nope. Damn. What are you going to do after this DLC? I don't know. <laughs> I just want to enjoy it first. I'll probably clear out some more quests. On this side. It is a dog. Sorry, dog. It's either you or me, bud. All right, where? Oh, are there any bed rolls that I can sleep in? God dang it! My game crashed. <laughs> Ugh, I think I have a semi recent save. God, barnacles. All right, let me reload. <laughs> This DLC is so good, my two favorite characters are in there. I think so far I'm really enamored by the environment design. Uh, for a DLC that is old, it looks really good. You know what I mean? Gosh dang it, I keep knocking all my things over. Bah, 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 bah. All right, let's get back into the game. And here we are. Hooray! Oh, God. All right, that's not horrible. We're not too far back. New Vegas crashes so much. I think my record was four crashes in one stream, maybe five. <laughs> I have to make sure I'm saving more regularly. I forget. It's hard because also this game um, or this DLC, rather, doesn't have a lot of interiors, so there's not as many opportunities for auto-saving. Like Aw, you saw me? Well, that sucks. Oh! You hopped up on the chair there, huh? Okay, makes it easier for me to shoot you. Jeez. 
So many bullets. Yeah, I don't have the animal friend perk because my survival has never been a good stat. Let's also save. It's funny how in this game and Fallout 3, they have crashing problems on PC, yet on console, they barely crash. On the other hand, though, if anything bugs out on PC, I can always, like, open the console. You know? Like, especially with older games, I prefer playing them on PC because you can, like, fix stuff that goes wrong. This is the All-American. Yep. I like this gun a lot. I like snipers. Oh, you look mean. You don't look like a friend. Oh yeah, it doesn't look good. Why do you have a sniper rifle? Where did, I guess you got it from the Legion? What are you doing with a sniper, my dude? Yield. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, hey, you appeared. Thank you. Nothing's funnier than watching an enemy randomly ragdoll into the air on death. Come on! Just pop around. There we go. Clean shot's all I need. I do also need more ammo, though. I have this under control. Okay. You can nikumpa me. I'm taking your word for it. Yep. Yep. There you go. <laughs> it's a lizard. It's not a lizard. <laughs> Messy business. I am glad it's over. Oh, hold on. There's something else. Oh, I'm gonna leave that. It's just a bug. Alright, we're gonna save again so I don't have to lose all my progress. Okie dokie. Let's grab... Uh... Nope, wrong button. My bad. Where to go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? We're gonna do this again. We're gonna do this again. <laughs> I wanted to repair it, not drop it. There we go, because I can use any weapon to repair anything now, which is super de duper useful, and I like it a lot. Um, uh, I have like a zillion bullets in this thing. Let's use this pistol more. There's a bug up ahead. I'll fight you if I must. There we go. Mods fix most crash. Yeah, I don't feel like modding. I recognize that might sound a little stubborn, but I don't want to, like, accidentally end up breaking my game modding it this late in the playthrough. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do all the quests or just get this DLC done fast? I'm gonna make my- I'm gonna take my time with it. Outside the valley, do not keep to the Father's ways. Perhaps when you leave, you will carry his word with you. I think I have to. Do I have to take this bridge? I think so. Beast Fork Bridge. Wowie zowie. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, God dang it. Oh, it's a bear. Hello. Think. Wink. Nice. I did it. Let's move on. I don't like to linger in this place. Just bear me. Swing, 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 swing. This the way. We're just, boy, we're just waltzing right into a cave full of big mutant bears. This feels like a very smart decision. This is absolutely 
a good plan. For sure, for sure. Yeah, this, this, how could this possibly go wrong? Any bears? Taking a nap? Whoa. Uh, mm. Mm. Okay. That's a dead end. That's the way I came, isn't it? I think so. Although... What's well, down here, then? I think this is just a big old loopy loop, right? I don't like this. Explosives marker. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Um, where's my breather apparatus? Where am I? We pass like moonlight on still water. Yep. That's the plan. For a place called Yagwai Cave, I expected more spookies to be lurking around. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get overconfident and then get got. Am I doing this right? Am I supposed to be picking this up? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Plant mining explosives at key points within the cave. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Thank you, Wiggles. I am placing them down, am I? Because it looks like I'm removing things. Because there's nothing on the ground. Peace, you know. Is there? Oh, there it. it is. Holy in the there the is. Never mind. Okay. Some Thank you. I was like, I feel like I'm was. handling this all incorrectly. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here yet, though. If I want to kill all those other Yagwai, I don't want to lose their map markers. Ma'am, please. Ma'am, please. Um, I don't want to lose their map markers. Okay, I know this is going to seem a little backwards, but I'm going to load my autosave. I'm going to go fight the other guys first, and then I'm going to go do the explosives. Because I learned this from the last quest. If I don't do the optional stuff first, I'll lose the opportunity to do it, period. And I don't like that. So let's go hunt some bears. Oh, those are red markers on my map. Why is the cub so big? I hate that. The thing is ginormous. I don't like to linger in this place. You leave me no choice. Oh! Revolver. Wah. Think. You've gained the animal control perk. What does that mean, game? I like when you give me perks, but what does it mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's optional to kill them. Planting these bombs are for the trap them in the caves. Yeah, I still feel like I should kill them though. I'm also getting experience for killing them, so it means you do more damage to animals. Nice. ways out of Zion Valley. Watch out! Many dangerous beasts lair near. Oh, like that? Like that? 
And like, oh, there's three. Okay. Oh, you are so big. Why are you the way that you are? What did you wake up to eat that did this to you, my dude? All right, I need a gun that doesn't re 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 reload this slow. There we go. Lord of Death, Lord Death of Murder Mountain. That's what that said. Cool. Huh? Why is it completing quests for me? Why is it doing this? I'm so confused. Wait, I... You... <sighs> it gave me optional objectives. Why can't I also now do the thing in the cave? I... Do I not have to do the cave thing now? Was this an either or situation? Oh, just kill all of them to solve. Oh, hey, all right. Oh, it's an either or. Okay, I thought it was like you have one objective, but you can do additional if you want to. So I was confused. I truly do find the name of this quest to be upsetting. All right, let's go talk to Follows Jock. Where is Fallen's Chalk? Let's wait for it to be daylight, because it's stinking dark out. Hello? Oh, y'all are just running. Alright, maybe, maybe, maybe he's in the cave. Got it. Okay, so it was just different ways to solve the same problem. Okie dokie. Where is my dude? He's the map marker? No, he doesn't. Because he's not my follower, so he wouldn't have a map marker. Is he? Oh, it's right. Okay. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> uh, look, I was on the right track. I was like, he's probably hanging out with Mr. What's-His-Name. Or maybe I am wrong? Oh, there's a way out of here. Fancy. Alright, so he's not in here. Okay. You could use the explosives to avoid fighting all- Oh, man, I used so much ammo! Mmm. Dying it. All right, hold on. Where are you, my dude? Oh, you've just been at the fire this entire time. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. How do you have the word tattoo and not the word fisherman lodge? Make it make sense. Ugh. I talked to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah. What did he say? Uh, oof. He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea and that I should give you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? I don't know. You should stay here with your people. You have a duty to them. Civilization isn't perfect, but neither is tribal life. I don't like either of these. I don't like... This should not be a decision for me to make. Um. Also... Uh, like, if he wants to see the wider world, that is his choice, and I don't see why I should influence that. Also, you know, you know, the was making a good point. Does does he know that death claws exist? Um, I guess like I don't want to send him into the wastes by himself because, like, he has to learn about like. The caps economy and junk. Um, yeah, Wiggles, if you can straight up tell me what happens with these endings, because I... 
I don't know how to feel about either of them, frankly. I feel like this, the sending him into the wasteland is risky because there's just so many more unknowns. He did say the Yagwai were the toughest, scariest things ever. To be fair, they are very scary, but I feel like Death Claws are just a little bit harder. If he stays, his wanderlust fades. No, you need to think for him. You're the protagonist. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Kaze. That's really how it feels, isn't it? It's like, don't be wrong, I get like the whole point of role-playing games is like feeling like you've left your mark, but it feels weird that I'm straight up telling him. Ooh, if he goes, he fights with the fam, then eventually leaves out saying goodbye, never seen again. Eee. Eee. I think I'm gonna have him stay. I don't think he has like a quote unquote responsibility or duty to his people. I think it's just like, if there was an option where I could take him back myself, I would do that. But that option doesn't exist. And I don't wanna send him, he's, I feel like I'm sentencing him to die alone in the wastes if I send him by himself, right? Like, it, it, he doesn't even fully understand how caps work. I, yeah, I'm gonna have him stay. I see. Well, thanks for your telling. Yeah, he would I'd get like robbed to think about or this. shanked. Thank me. I'm sorry for telling you to stay and go against your wishes. I just want you to live. All right, let's go talk to Daniel uh, about Waking Cloud's family. See how that goes. Oh, all right. All in on survival, baby. All right, y'all, what, what, what do we want to grab? Oh, can I be friends with animals now? I forget what that was called. Ooh! Does this work? You're so sneaky, you can sneak even with your Pip Boy light on. Is that broken? Animal friend, thank you. That's the one. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I have it though. Animal friend. I don't think I have it. Center mass? I wish this was like alphabetized. You don't fool around with fancy trick shots. Straight, straight to the midsection, down they go. And Vats, you do an additional, ooh, 15% damage on torsos. Animal friend requires six charisma, aww. Um, I'm gonna do broad daylight so I can freaking see. I'm sorry if that's boring, but it's always so hard to see. <laughs> You need 45 survival for Animal Friend. Got it. I thought it was 35. I was wrong. Thank you. Bloody mess, though. I don't want to get into trouble with Twitch and having, like, gratuitous violence. So we're just going to keep that one off. <laughs> Daniel. Hello. I need you to be honest. Are people dead? I need you to be so honest with me right now. Hey, there you are. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Partner, howdy. Tell me about Waking Cloud's family. What, um, what do you want to know exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. Dude, you're being so suspicious. She said one of her births was difficult and you helped her through it. Oh, well, that's true. Waking Cloud is a talented midwife. She certainly brought more children into the world than I have. But there are some problems she's never dealt with. One of them came up when she was having her third child, and I really didn't do much. I'm surprised she mentioned it. Um... Did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. Okay, but... <sighs> My track is breaking? We're good. I'm so sorry, all this keeps happening. What's the matter? Did something happen? 
Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago. What about her husband? Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. Oh, uh, it's her husband. Don't you think she has a right to know, my guy? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? This is not for you to decide, my man. Aren't you the guy in charge around here? That's not an easy thing to be. You don't have to be, though. I don't like doing this. But I can't see any good coming from telling Waking Cloud her husband died. Well, I'm gonna tell her. You'll do what you'll do. I won't try to stop you. I'd ask only that you consider the repercussions of your actions. My man, if someone important to me died and someone knew and didn't tell me, I'd be so bad. Like... Uh, like, there's, like, a few very select situations where I could get it. Like, if you're, like, about to start a crazy exam, it's, like, when the exam's done, I'll tell you, right? Like, I get that, but this seems like he's just, like, waiting for a very long time. Uh, is there any other way I can help the Sorrows? If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock Thank you. plants can be found throughout the valley, and you might even find some on white legs you come across. All right. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? I have horrible news. About your husband. I'm afraid he was killed by white legs during the evacuation. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. Still lurking. Sammy, thank you for the 10 months resubscribe. I really appreciate it. I also appreciate that lurk. I hope your weekend's going well. I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract you. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? That's what I said. I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. Mm. <laughs> I agree. No, I can't. I can't let them collapse entirely. Uh, he was only doing what he thought was best for the tribe. It wasn't an easy choice for him. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. You're welcome. Someone should have. Jeez. Man. What a nerd. Oh, let's go speak to White Bird. Okay. He ordered the white legs to salt the earth so nothing could I love how she was standing there for all that and just ignored it, right? Do <laughs> that. One of the goofier parts about games like this. Hello? Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? Uh, I don't know what visions of truth means. Seek medicine plant. Return with sacred datura root. Receive visions of truth. They guide you. Uh, what if I don't want to do any of that? Cool. You're just not going to talk to me then. Okay. Go. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> See, Daniel, this is the consequences of your actions. That's the thing. Like, my man. Uh, three sacred Datura plants. Okay, cool. I'll find them. One's here. Crossroad Cavern? We pass like moonlight yeah. on still water. Anybody home? I'm running low on my 10 millimeter ammo. Bomberino. We got red alerts. Oh, it's a puppy. Phew. 
Oh, I heard that I died. Oh, that looks like it hurt. Sorry. Where's your babies? Hello. There you are. Yo. It'd be cool if you could send followers out to fetch certain quests. I think... You know, it's actually kind of an interesting concept. Like, being able to sort of manage how they... Gather resources and stuff. How could you do that to your kin? Listen, they're gonna murder me if I don't murder them. So, it's just self-defense. Really, it's like murdering them before they get to me is just preemptive self-defense. My guy, I was gonna murder you by accident. Huh? I could have sworn that map marker wanted me to go here. I'm so confused. Am I going the right way for this? Oh, I'm gonna fall to my death. Glass chime... I guess we're going in! It's a doggo-eat-doggo -doggo world. Exactly. Oh, wait. Can I make, um... Spore plant pod, sacred datura root, rock flower. Making that antivenom takes so many materials. Ooh. Neato. I could make one. Cave hey, fungus. Yum yum. Who in the hell? Oh, that's not good. You shouldn't be in here. That's not good at all. They, like, really crept in here, huh? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you're, like, right there. Oh. What? 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 This one is mine. Oh, no, you That's one down. I need uh dink dink dink. I, need healing I know you need healing, but just stay on fire for a minute. It'll all work out in the end. Oh good. How is it that I can wound your head so grievously and you can still be up? There we go. Oh, those are made of mantis legs. Interesting. Oh, girl. I'm sorry. My head feels about to burst. At least that means you leave me no choice. Jeez. I am so over you, my guy. Right in the leg. There we go. I require healing. <laughs> uh, at least they have anti-venom on them. That's convenient. It's bad that they were this close to the camp, though. That's not good. Stonebone Cave? I don't think I've been there. It doesn't ring a bell. Alright, let's make a, um... Or plant pod. That's what I don't have. All right, never mind. Do I have any healing powder?
I'll just heal with Sodi Pop again. I've been taking too many, um, too many stim packs. Am I in the right area? I think so. Are you a friend? You're a friend. Yo, dude, you got a lizard in your... Oh, it's a friend, Gecko? Ami or Kalol, it's not my birthday, but I appreciate the sentiment. I guess they tamed a gecko here? Somehow? Also, Kaze, thank you for hanging. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Um... Datura root. Okay, but that's not a sacred Datura root. It's just like a regular one. Oh, no, that counted. Let me fast travel. It won't let me fast travel. There we go. I was in the wrong menu. I'm not smart. <laughs> Oops. I have to go up there. Oh, wait. Let's go up here. You might cut out all I heard is it's my birthday, but it's not. <laughs> not until May. I have to go this way? I can't go that way, though. But there's a bridge there, so let's go down and around. Mothership Zeta for Fallout 3? I don't know what any of that means. This is where I think I need to go. Let's pop another drink. Nice. That'll heal me up, right? Uh... It's good to travel with another. I spend so long Do I get to I this like. plant? There we go. Is the next one in Crossroads Cavern? No. I know what the plant looks like, which is like half the battle. Does this want me to go in here? Do I have three? Oh, I have three. That's right. Okay. Hello. You have root of sacred datura? Yep. These roots made sacred vision tea. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? Oh, uh, sure. I guess. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave, find ghost of she, lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. Okay. You retrieve retrieve the paw from ghost of she. Okie doke. So am I tripping right now? Is that what's happening? Um Ghost den. Spooky. Talk to him again? Oh, wait. Uh. You're tripping big time? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's talk to homeboy. Does ghost of she like quiet and grave? I have some questions first. Who or what is the ghost of she? Sad story. Not for your ears from my lips. Ask midwife. She speak to your ears. Okay. Katubil. Tell me about ghost of she. That is a sad story. I do not like to tell it. 
But if you are asking, it must be at Whitebird's request. That I will honor. Okay. Long ago, a girl lived among this tribe. She was a curious child and a clever one. And her mother had a devil's time watching over her. One day, the child slipped away from camp and went to play in the caves nearby. The girl did not know that a Yaogwai slept in that cave. The girl died. The tribe wept. For the girl had died before her naming day, and her ghost would remain restless and wandering upon the earth. Many hunters tried to kill the beast, but it eluded them or drove them off. The shaman said that since it had consumed the girl, the two were one. So we call the beast Ghost of She, for the child had no name to be called. That is the story of the Ghost of She. It is a sad story. It is our story. Yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. So, is this guy just making me take drugs to go fight a creature for vengeance? That seems unsafe. But I guess I can't really question it. I don't know. Uh, I have to go around. Oh, you gotta be joking me. There's the big boys. There's a baby. Hello, baby. I wanna fight the Casadors. I don't know. Going the right way? Bam! I think I need to get up on this cliff somehow. But I don't know. God! Uh... Oh, I can't shoot while I'm in the water. I can keep up this pace. Yes, long. you can! Stick it out for me, girl, please. I need you to be my meat shield. Only because I don't want to have to take all this damage. You will heal from it over time. I will not. Oh, it's running away? Dang it, what a coward. You enjoying the camera effects? I find them distracting, if I'm being honest. I already have bad vision. God. You coward. So this isn't making it easier. <laughs> And really, oh god. <sighs> really, all this is doing is um, making the screen more saturated. Don't jump. Pip boy, Pip boy, Pip boy. I can't open the Pip boy while I'm reloading. That makes sense. Okay. I think one of the downsides with these guys is they're just bullet sponges. Like, nothing about fighting them is necessarily difficult, right? They're just, like, difficult for the sake of being difficult, so to speak. I really need my follower to come back alive. Ugh. Come down here and fight me, you coward! Jeez. Alright, I'm gonna save again so I don't have to get ambushed by them in my save file. <laughs> Yeesh, you still did some damage, my dude. 
Oh, it's those plants again. That is not nearly as bad. Truly, I'm not as worried. Um, these use the same ammo, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I need more ammo for my other guns. Why are you here? We're not at the, the vault with this junk. What are you doing here? Huh? There's no vo Huh? Can someone explain to me why this thing is here? It has no right to be here. Why are you here? Will I find out why that thing is here? Oh, I have to take my uh, poison thingy. That's why I'm dying so much. I'm gonna just wait for that water to kick in. What's coming for me now? Another one? I really hope I figure out what the hell this thing's doing here. Stop running at me. Jeez. I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell this is. All right. I'm trying not to take too many stim packs, but I don't wanna die. <laughs> Okay, cool. I will find out. That's good. It would kind of suck if it didn't explain. Oh, beans. It's really hard to aim with all of these, like, weird camera effects. Alrighty, bank. Yeah, I had to reload. That's what I thought. Do, 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 do. Beans? Are we? Do you all really want me to make a beans counter? I don't think I know how to do that without multiple people counting it and then messing up the actual count. I do not like the look of the inside of its mouth. That's really gross. Why is its mouth a butthole? That's so nasty. Jeez. It only matters if you use super stim packs? I thought I was only using normal stim packs. Oh, that's a shame. I'm guessing these were campers. Vault 22 jumpsuits. What are people from Vault 22 doing all the way here? Which one was Vault 22 again? The Plant Vault. What was Plant Vault? A vengeful spirit stalks these canyons. Let's read this. You're reading this message, then do yourself a favor. Turn and run out of this canyon. For near 11 months, my people have been engaged in daily battle with an evil spirit of this place. Arriving February of last year with a party of 118 strong, we were attacked by primitives and forced to defend ourselves. Whereupon something began killing us in wide numbers. We have done our absolute best to find and kill this thing, thinking it was a man because it uses our firearms against us and traps us. Of all kinds, but no man can defy our efforts. We have been reduced in number to just 34. We've lost six overseers before me. Some have perished from sickness in their lungs and carry... Okay. Now that I'm finally made overseer, we are leaving straight away and will not return. If you've come to this se seeming paradise seeking the freshwater abundant game and shelter, you suppose you will find here. You do not be deceived. Interesting. Oh, sorry. I missed a, an a ad break. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna take a quick ad break real fast. We'll be back in a minute. Oh, oh whammo blammo. Quick minuto. 
Uh, that's really interesting. Huh. I'm gonna stretch real quick. No. No. Oh, so then what ate the girl? Was it in the cave? Is this the cave that they were talking about? I will find out in a minute. I'm gonna just, y'all make sure you're watching your posture. I gotta make sure I'm watching mine. Who? Oi. Mmm. Oi. Ugh. Gotta shake my hands out a little bit. Okay, this was a good, good spot for a quick break. Oh, I keep knocking my stuff over. I'm a big old mess today, y'all. Okay, so as we're coming out of that little ad break, so I'm going to talk through what I think is happening. And no one's going to tell me if I'm wrong. It's fine. Um, but it seems like what's happening is... So... Vault 22 was the plant vault. Thank you for the head pats. And as the plant sickness was getting bad, they sent out an expedition to, like, see if... Of course, after the break, my tracking breaks. I'm so sorry. I will be right back. God dang it. Thank you for your patience. Uh, I fixed it. Okay, so they sent an expedition to, like, figure out why, uh, to try and, like, save their vault or whatever. They came to the, this canyon. Everything was good. And then people turned into spore monsters and the rest died. Um, which explains why there's all these, like, vault amenities. Why? Um, boy, howdy, do I not want to go in here, but I don't have a choice. There's no cave around here, right? This is just their little camp that they made? Yeah. All right, well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Can we burn that vault to the ground? Truly, can we? Because, like... It's just the worst. Ghost Den. Why do I have a feeling? Oh. Oh, no. There's no spore carriers here. It's bears? Reload. 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 Ah. ah. Jeez. I'll fight you if I must. I'd appreciate it. The mantis I'm not worried about. The bear I am worried about. Reload time, reload time, reload time! Okay. There we go. Ooh. May others not find it. Let it disappear from the world forever. That's how I feel. What a miserable place, you know? Another one? Oh. Uh, thank you. Are there any more? No. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. <laughs> My game froze. So it technically didn't crash. It's just not working. I am so tired. <laughs> I am so over it. Why is you? Uh, you know what? Barnacles. Now I gotta, like, manually. Yeah. So how am I gonna do this? Give me a minute. I, when it does this, I don't have access to my mouse. So I have to, like, do everything. In uh, 
there we go. Fixed it. I just want to finish this quest game, please. Please, I just, I just want to stop tripping on drugs. It's very overwhelming. Uh, lu, 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 lu. Okay. Let's head back into the game, shall we? Good thing I saved recently, jeez. The ghost is stronger than we thought. If it crashes again, I'm gonna be really, really annoyed. Come on, come on. Reload? Nope, okay, cool. How many bullets do I have left? Three. Ow. Beep, beep, beep. Think. Nice. I'll fight you if I Critical hit with one hand and pistol. What a very specific achievement. Nice. There we go. Gonna save again. <sighs> I was afraid it froze all over again. <laughs> I was holding my breath because I was just waiting for the other shoe to drop, you know what I mean? Man, you are not cute. You're an ugly little thing, you know that? I think that helped. Alright, save one more time. Okay, let's see if we can actually get in the cave this time. No! So interesting. So the game is not letting me go to this point. For whatever reason, it's just crashing here. That's not good. This may be a bug then. Hmm. We're gonna try one more time and if it crashes again, then it's definitely a bug and I'm gonna have to look into how to fix it. Which is, like, not super de duper ideal, you know what I mean? Does not feel great. Always worth a verify game files? What does that mean? I'm sorry if that's, like, a really ignorant question, but what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, there might be a... Con that's the thing, like, I'm saying, like, there might... There's probably a console workaround. It's probably a known crash location. Let's just try one more time. Let's just walk. As soon as I round this corner, if it crashes so, again, oh, this is the ghost of She's Lair. I was never brave enough to try to find it. Save again. Think we're good. Didn't John Wick teach you anything? Always reload you after a fight. No what the hell? What am I fighting right now? Why is it on fire? This is not good. This is not good. It broke again! Like my soul. Shattered to pieces. Everything is breaking. Including my heart. Yeah, ghost goes so powerful it's crashing the game. We're gonna do it. We're gonna brute force it. I have faith, all right? I have... I have to have faith in something, you know what I mean? Uh, la 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 It's probably all the effects. Yeah, I think it's like the lens flare, the bear on fire. Because the deterred potions visual effects make the game crashy, temporarily turn off all full screen events. Oh. Oh, wait. Wiggles, you're a genius. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Game launcher. All right, hold on, wait. Let me quit the game. All right, it's going to be really loud for a second. I'm sorry. I, I can't do anything about it. It's just that's how it's going to be for a minute. I just got here HI 10 months. Whoa. Much subs. Such support. I know, thank you so much for the 10 months. 
Sorry, the game keeps crashing, so we have to do something. Uh, options. Screen effects, none. Okay, sorry, I know this is like so loud. I'm so, so sorry. Thank you, Wiggles. You are a gentleman and a scholar. And I appreciate that a lot. That should fix it. Cool. Windows 10 hates, 10 hates New Vegas. It's interesting, because like, the game is old? Oh, this looks wrong. Hold on. <laughs> this does not look right. Why does it <laughs> look like this? Oh no. If I must. Oh god, all right. This is what happens when I disable all on-screen effects. So, that's fine. What is happening? What is happening? I can't see. Oh! There's so many of you. Why? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm so confused. I think we're done? I think we did it. I think we did it. Cool. That was real confusing. This isn't even a cave. Wait, what? This is just a path. Is there a terminal for me to read here? Is there a cave for me to go in? I thought I would maybe be able to get more information from this camp, but I guess not. Let's go up here real fast. I do need the spore plant pods if I want to make more anti-venom, so... Might as well grab those while I have a chance. Cool, alright, so now we can end this... Vision quest? Question mark? I don't know what the game considers that, but I'm glad it's done. Hello, I brought you a paw. Does Ghost of She like quiet and grave? Uh, yeah, it's done. Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take. Gift to remind you of visions. Use well. Or sell to cure your traitor. Either way, says much about you. But... Why would... You just gave me drugs to go kill something for revenge for your people. I don't understand what truth I learned from any of that. But thanks, I guess? I am deeply confused. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. A cool new weapon? What did I get? She's Embrace? Oh, I got a big bear paw. We pass like moonlight on still water. I got a big bear paw. That's pretty fun. Uh, I don't want to use it though, but uh, that's a pretty, oh wait, where's my police rifle? Crystal, there we go. So the last quest I have to do in this queue is to go fight a bunch of dudes. I really need to buy more ammo. So I'm gonna stop by here and see if I can do that. Now you can make enemies talk to your hand. <laughs> I don't know if Joshua's in here or if he's back at the other camp, but I do really need ammunition. How strong am I? Not strong at all. My strength is bad. I think it's maybe a four. He's not in here. What a dweeb. Never mind then. I mean in real life? Oh. Worse. If my if 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 all of my stats were on like a scale of one to ten, right? My strength's like a three, two, 
three? It's bad. I'm not strong. <laughs> My only decent stat is like maybe intelligence? Maybe? <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Uh, <laughs> I am very weak and very slow. <laughs> And my constitution's bad. It's all bad. Um, there you are. Welcome back. What can I do for you? I need to buy weapons. Ammunition. Do you have a 55 millimeter? No. You have a 45. So I may have to buy that. All right, let's sell. I'd rather use the submachine gun over the pistol, so we're gonna sell the pistol. I'm gonna sell the caravan shotgun, the dynamite, the dynamite. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have any more money. That's fine. Cool. God be with you. Clara's stats. Strength 2, Constitution 3, Dex 3, Intelligence 8, Wisdom 8, Charisma 2. <laughs> 100,000? That's not how stats work. <laughs> that was very sweet of you, though. By 5.56. Oh, I do need that. Thank you. Wait, where'd you go? Mr. Man. Jo Joshua. Where'd you go? Buddy. I'll just buy more later, I guess. We vanished. <laughs> All right, y'all. So good news is we are all ready to pick this up and take the fight to the White Legs, which I'm going to do in the next stream, which will be tomorrow. Thank you all for joining me for more Fallout. And thank you for helping me when I got confused. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.